Okay. Oh. Hey, Nadine. What? If if there are money pigeons that eat money and act as wallets, does Hasrad have a money snake? You're asking the real questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. How uh, can a bunch of secret frogs? Wait, kill is money snake again? an innuendo though? Like I gotta confirm that first. No, is that an innuendo? Not. Okay, it then be. maybe. Uh, oh, in in, 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 in in Zito in Zito's campaign, he rewards a good pun. In the Dean's game, <laughs> she punishes innuendo. No. I, I, I get you punish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. So yeah. much. <laughs> you have no idea. I hate you. <laughs> oh, I hate you. I feel like Bosco is slow. I feel like Remy's slowly falling down into like the fire, the fires of fucking what is that? The third Star Wars movie, the the, the one with all the fire, Planet Volcano, whatever it's called. Uh, <laughs> you in the fire tonight? You know? Why? I just I don't. I'm sorry, dude. Like, <laughs> it's too real. Thank you for the bits, guys. And uh, by oh, the way, we're live. Oh, oh we're yeah, live. Yeah, we're live. live. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, I talk. Fuck it, we'll do it live. All right, by the way, we have new emotes chat, so you can sub to have fun with those. That's do right. We? Yes, we do. I talk. I, I talked to Nutcase, and I paid. Oh, off. you got the ones from Nutcase. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. I, I, I made it. Set a deal with it. Here we go, guys. Check out the new emotes. We got ourselves some goddamn Task, Ooh. the Cobalt Ranger, Panic, Greckles, Borky, and Gripples, baby! Nice. I, I didn't realize Gripples was in the New Day. <laughs> Grip pulls rocks. Grip pulls rocks, yeah. Happy Rusev Day. Thank you very much, guys. It is a happy Rusev Day. Oh, man, people are just enjoying all... Ooh, look at this. Everyone's enjoying... Everyone's enjoying it. Yeah, oh, Rusev Day. That. Yeah, this was a good idea. This is good. Like I, I have. Do you like, do you have it set up where if people subscribe, you can get more emotes? Uh, you have to. No, I have it so like you have to subscribe to get the emotes. And no, no, no. I mean like, like, like nine ninety nine and twenty four ninety nine. I have a nine ninety nine one, but I don't have a twenty five dollar one. I don't know what to do for that one. I just I've never thought of something that's worth well... twenty. I tried to like see. Can I have talk of socks? Because if you're gonna pay me twenty five dollars, you should be able to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> Dude, Curtis, for twenty five bucks, you can do whatever you want. Oh, yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. oh guy, oh guy, Jinguma sobbed. Everyone, congratulations! Yay, uh, Curtis. I have to get the emotes. Yeah, I hate that guy. C Curtis, yeah. you have on on the Twitch stream DNS the unexpectables. What? <laughs> what? Do not oh. suspect the unexpectables. <laughs> Wait on the on the on the on the on the, the name the name, name of the stream the is... name of the thing is DNS the unexpected so oh do not for the love of God I fuck guys you gotta forgive me it, it's, it's fine dude it's fine it's fine, it's fine. I like it. oh my God if you guys judge me anymore I am gonna break down I am Dungeons I am like this stupid I am like and this I, close guys you gotta forgive me Dungeons and I'm, stupid I'm, I'm I'm like we love you Curtis stupid <laughs> fine I go change the S to a T everyone. Oh, okay. for fuck's sake! I, I, <laughs> no, you, hey, let him do it. No, someone right. already changed it? it? Oh my god, someone already changed it. Okay. Oh, uh, never mind. Was it changed? Nice. Someone already changed it. Yeah, well, it. I didn't refresh the page, I so I, I don't care. I, just I, I look guess at I put the S instead of the D, which means. All right, this, this, right. This, guys, I'm this calls for four hours of anxiety and deep breathing, <clears throat> I think. This is what it calls for. I think this right, is the most so, rational decision I can make right now. Don't, don't 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 worry, Curtis. I took a screenshot of DNS, so now it's there forever. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right, are you guys ready to go? No, we're really not. We got a couple of announcements real fast. We're gonna jump in here real fast, guys. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming to the Fan Arts uh, from Mondays, everybody. It's always a blast. We have a lot of fun there. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. People are asking if we're gonna put that up on YouTube. Uh, no, I will not be, because that's kind of private for the community a little bit. And uh, I think I I like I prefer that to be a live show. And if, if you miss it, however, you can go back and rewatch the um the VOD on uh, on uh, blah, 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 Twitch here. Oh my. Yes, indeed. Um, Zito's also not in the game, so we're not starting yet because Zito has to join. Oh, fair enough. No, Zito's. Oh, it 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 DNS on me. We are now joined by Tusk, everybody. But another 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 quick thing, guys. We do for those who don't know. For those who actually found out, we have a podcast. You hear that? You know that, guys? What? We have a podcast, and you can find. She want a podcast? No, and you. Like soing scoop. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, that morph. Thank you so much. For the, wow. The the red storm crow. Thank you for the bits. That morph guy. Thank you so much for the bits. We'll be doing a bit shout out at the end at the end of the stream, guys. Of course, too. Don't worry. I'll be going through that. 
Uh, but the podcast is available on Google and on iTunes. And if you guys give a rating on there, it actually helps, unlike YouTube, where you have to subscribe, click the bell, go into the bell, choose the amount of bell you want. You know, oh, no. you know, you know, it's just good, good, fun stuff, guys. And by the way, the subscriptions and the bits you give keep this show going. And it's been incredible, the love and support we've been getting from you guys. And all we want to do is keep playing this silly, silly game with you guys. And Thank have you a for good your time. future glass. Ex exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, I can personally, by the way, I actually did it real fast before we start. I went on a and d, &D binge this week, and I am almost all caught up. With the adventure zone, almost all caught up, almost all. Cool, nice. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I have to, I have to do that. Oh yeah, it's only one hour episodes. So it's okay, Nadine. Nadine, anything you want to shout out? Any any new changes that you wanted to go over, or is it a? Uh... Uh, is there any new changes that I should know about? I've been my world's been turned upside down with my other job being weird this week. So oh, oh no worries. Uh, nothing that I can think of. I, I thought I thought mm -hmm. I, you mentioned you wanted to do something, but that's okay. Um, I go oh, great. Now I'm gonna wake up at four in the morning and remember what it was. <laughs> um, now now we actually I'll tell you this, guys. We actually have something kind of neat that um. Thanks, thanks to Sky Blue Shinks, we actually got made. Um, we have a theme music, guys. We have a theme song now. Cool. Yeah. I, I I would really like any excitement because I spent money on it. Like I really. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm packing an extra hour onto the anxiety after this, real fast here. Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, from Sky get Blue a, get a new, new. Now, what I'm thinking new, is, new. we'll, we'll, we'll... <laughs> fucking shit. We're, um... <laughs> <laughs> you needed that. Be honest. Yes, you did. Uh... <laughs> it was, it was, like, it was like the birth of your child and then that newt newt was like rocking out of space with how important that newt newt was <laughs> oh my god the cosmic <laughs> newt oh, when, my, when, my, when my coffin's being lowered over the ground guys I want you to know this Who, if Zito's there just does a duck call I will you know <laughs> he just the But guys, I think I think are we all ready to play some motherfucking D and D? <laughs> all right, we have a game to play. My all right, guys, I'm gonna now that okay, the song is 52 seconds long, and then I'll and then uh, after it's done, I'm gonna do my double I'll do my, a double snap, which means you can start it in, okay? Okay. okay. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the Unexpectables. Playing again! <laughs> okay, all right, go go for it, Nadine. <laughs> Did we lose her? Oh what? no, my microphone was. No, oh, for the love of God! <laughs> no, we're doing it all over again. We're doing it all. Oh, I was talking. You're like, are you gonna talk? I'm like, I am talking. Oh wait. Shoot. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> Thank you for all the bit drops, guys. Uh, that does not go to our tech stuff. Uh, I'll tell you that. All right, go for it, Nadine. Sorry. All right. When last we left our heroes, Paddock the Tiefling Bard, Pass the Cobalt Ranger, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Breckles the Kenku Rogue, and a newfound friend in Remy the Kenku Griffin Rider, the party was making their way back to their home of Alavast. After a stop in Humbrack Village, a simple farming town, the party decided to help with the local problem. The night prior to the party's arrival in the town, a hag had stolen away a baby from its crib. Determined to get the infant back, the party pursued the hag into a small bog, only to find the hag disarmed, literally, and without the stolen baby, and on death's door. After negotiations and some revelations, Borky managed to finish off the hag with a solid suplex. 
After following the ha- <laughs> after following the hag's lead and the off-sounded cry of a bleeding goat led the party to Ange, a large creature tending to a flock of massive goats and the stolen baby resting in his palms. With a peaceful deception and a few indulgences into Ange's food offerings, the baby was given to panic by Ange, and the party left the creature to its goats. Now, making their way back through the swamp, back to Humbrak, the party strides forward. Oh, Lodge, I got a question for you all. <laughs> What's that? You know, if I ever retire, and I will someday, I'm thinking I would like to live in a swamp. Why? Why? Why well, a swamp? You know, I just, you know, I'd be alone all the time. I can ask people to get out of it. Sounds like fun. But you would be alone, literally, forever. I mean, forever. Like, I, I feel like being a big green guy living in a swamp would make me happy. What you need is a killer treehouse. I would need, oh, yes. Like, mm. You just need a big sign out front that says, no girls allowed. But like, but like, but like one would be allowed because I want to try and find true love. Speaking of true love, you look adorable with that baby panic. The baby panic is currently grabbing your hair and it like has, it's in your, like has a big handful of hair in its hand and it's not letting go. <laughs> don't, don't pull. <laughs> How hard is, is the that... baby pulling? Uh, it's just holding on to it like a handlebar almost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> While these guys are kind of doing their thing, Remy's going to have been moving ahead to get back this baby as soon as possible because there's a lot of not nice things out here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What what is uh, what's the uh, what's our surroundings or is this literally right after uh, we got the baby? You guys have walked down the incline. Anja's cry is fading into the distance, and as you guys walk, you're hit again with the humidity of the bog. Your feet sink into the grass deep, and you, you you even feel some water creeping in through your shoes. And for some of you who don't wear shoes, it's cold water. Um, as you guys make your way, there are inlets of water uh, scattered around. There's there's cattails and and skunk weed and uh, <clears throat> lots of trees with witches' hair dangling down. It, it there's a also permanently, despite the change in the day, there's always seems to be a mist almost over top of the water surface. And as you guys move, it's kicked up and swirling at your feet. Uh, may I roll a perception check to make sure that nothing is coming at us or lurking in said waters? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Perception check with advantage, due to your Kenku. Ooh, 16. Okay. You span the horizon. Um, you see a few crows. Uh, you see a few small frogs. Um, other than that, it seems quiet. Remember, there's two other hags that we have to deal with. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the baby for any injuries. Oh, okay. was, there was Leecha. Who was the other one? Leecha was the only one that we got a name for. Oh. We or have to the, name the, the other. Be, yeah. We have to name the other hag then. I'll leave that up to you, Blakey. Haggy. Would that be a perception or a or a medicine check? Uh, medicine. Okay. Children's that is a seven. Seven. It's a baby. It's not de- it's it's breathing, so it's probably fine. Uh, is there water deep enough that I can get under? Uh, let me roll for that. Let me actually crack out my dice because that would be smart. Mm. <laughs> I'm proud of you, dude. Every day. I know. Uh, looking around, it's mostly shallow puddles at this point. Okay. Is there an is there enough brush and stuff that I could jump in a stealth? Um, there is. It's super scarce. You would pop in and out of stealth. Um, plus with the fog, you might lose your party as well. If I Looking, was, if, if I was about 10 feet away from him. Um, you could, I'd say stealth with disadvantage. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, that's one. Remy, Remy, you watch as Greckles takes, is like, I'm going to go hide and takes two big steps and just slips on the mud and goes face first. <sighs> And a few of his personal belongings spill out onto the ground, including that mask you saw him obsessing over. I picked that up immediately. I'm going to sleight of hand that. That is okay. a 21. Okay. I want you to roll a perception check with advantage, Remy. Uh, 17. You see something white and then it disappears. You don't get a full glance of what it is. Uh, are you all right? 
Oh, this is just not my day. I can't wait to get back home. Remy's going to pick up the other belongings and then help Greckles to his feet. Yeah, you pick up his acid dagger of stab, the other thing he also regularly drops. He's got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well call this the slippery acid dagger of stab. Just keep your eyes peeled and try not to go too far ahead. Uh, uh, I, I want to... Like, would, okay, so I'm looking at primeval awareness because I feel like this is the only time it's ever going to be fucking useful anywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh... At the beginning of your third level, you can use your action to expend one ranger spell slot to focus your awareness on the region around you. For one minute, uh, you can expend a spell slot uh, and sense whether a creature, uh, a fallen creature, is present within one minute. It allows up to six miles if you are in favor terrain. Aberration, Celestials, Dragons, Elements, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Is it, like, is it like Predator Vision? Kind of, yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's more like Sonar. Okay. Okay. What are you, you going to look for? Uh, what would hags fall under? Fey? Would you know? Would Task know? I mean, we killed one. I don't... <laughs> I guess I'd say I'd say you would figure out it was Fey because of the fear of the Fey Slicer. It, it, would, it, uh, would, fa it would fall under Jobbers, Nadine. That's what it would Actually, be. that... that would... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fey, I guess. Yes. Okay. Uh... Um, you guys watch as Task gets on the ground... His eyes narrow, his ears perk up. Despite all the crickets and all the bugs and the sound of poop as of toads jumping into the water, you close your eyes and you sense hags right at the edge, deeper into the bog, the opposite direction you're going, two of them, far, far away, and far away from Anj as well. Hmm. Based on that, you get the sense that Meyer Hare got about halfway to her destination oh. before. Can you just can he it. discern direction? Based on where you are, it's further westward and deeper. So the opposite, I will, opposite, I, yeah, sorry. That's the opposite direction we want to go then. Yeah, it's opposite okay. to the town. It's far away from the town. Okay. Okay. Obvious reason. Okay. All right, I'll, just, I'll relay this to everyone else, I suppose. Okay. In that case, um, what's going to be our marching order, boys? Get the kid home first. Protect the Babu. I would agree. There's no need to put him in any more danger. I agree as well. I'll move between anybody, but I don't want to be in the front or the back. Uh, Remy will take point. I'll Bork take the back. Borky will be and... right behind Panic the whole time, like looming and... over him. Okay. And I'll be sandwiched between Borky and um, Task. This is this is okay. this is a fun this is a fun fun team we have up right now. This is good. as you guys move and get into position, you begin to move. Um, Panic at this point, the baby's like yanking your hair, like pull, like shaking it like a rattle almost, like just. Eh, eh. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, um, and it's like gonna, reaching, I think, trying to grab the circlet of blasting, like it's shiny. Oh like, no, 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 no! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can hum a little to it to calm it down. Okay, roll a performance. Uh, okay. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Roll that lullaby. Mm. Uh, that is a eleven. Eleven. Okay. I will. Roll with advantage because it is a baby. Roll for baby. <laughs> Roll for baby. Roll. Ooh. That is, a, that is a two, as, by the way. <laughs> as you ooh, as you begin to sing to it, you see the tears welling, and then it begins to cry Whoa. and it's loud. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I uh, like, uh, like a, like a, like a chain full of keys. I, I take out, I take out uh, my, uh, my gold, my gold. Uh, sack and I, I start jingling it, jingling it in front of him. Okay. Jingle keys. If, if this doesn't work, I have a plan. If this doesn't work, I have a plan. Um, task for your experiences. I think out of everyone, you're the only one who had a younger sibling in in uh, Israeli. Yeah. She could. She's a siren. This is nothing. She she could make the cave walls shake. <laughs> I will roll for baby again. Oh Jesus Christ! As long as baby doesn't attract other things, that's my only worry. Uh, the baby, like, like, is, like, kicking from you, like, from your body, almost, and it's, like, kicks at, like, the bag, like, no. it's, it's, it's freaking them out more. Okay, no, okay, okay, uh, I, I, got, I, I, got, I got them. I got a plan, I got a plan, let me try something. Okay, okay. I, I put my money away. Uh, no, 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 no. Borky pulls out gripples. No, just hear me out, guys. <laughs> hear me out. Oh, okay. No, 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 Now, the, the way gripples work is I have to, Borky has to activate it, right? That's the way it works, right? 
to make him explode, yes. Okay, Borky has to activate it. Borky goes out. Oh, who's this? Who's this right here? Oh, is, is this the cripples? Is this the cripples right here? Is this the cripples in the door? This is with disadvantage because that thing's creepy. I'm praying to God that you'll allow me to just Baby. go. The baby starts shrieking. Ah, oh, damn it! I, I cast calm emotions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank the baby, God. The baby's screaming and screaming and screaming, and then just nothing. Just stops. Oh, this is why I don't want kids. Remy is going to snap his head around. <laughs> what are you four doing? <laughs> can he, can, don't look can at me. I didn't do anything. Is it, He's snapping I'm his trying. head around by, like, he's actually walking forward. His head just turns completely around like a bird. Oh. Yeah. I'll fucking I'll spend another primeval awareness. Okay. No movement from the forms. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Uh Remy's gonna reach into his pack and toss Panic a cookie. If it starts to wake up again, give it that. Can how can I see can determine how old this baby is? It's a newborn. It does not have teeth. You're going uh, to have I, to mulch it. Mm, I think <laughs> Not regurgitation, I, just break it up into small crumbs. I, I think the calm emotions will last until we get to town, at least. Then let's get to it, then. Let's go faster. Bork, Borky, hold up, Gripples. You're bad with kids. You're bad with kids, Gripples. <laughs> the young soon will fall. Oh, my God. Ah! Whoa, dude. Ow, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, come on. I've been doing it this whole time. Yeah, but... Anywho, oh, uh, right. can Remy roll another perception to make sure that their path ahead is clear? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to roll perception as well. Uh, that is a 16. Okay. And that is a 17. <clears throat> it's clear. You're now recognizing trees and other things. You also find the corpses of the beasts you've slain, or at least what's left of them, currently being pecked at and peeled away by crows, which all scatter as you break through the brush. So are we technically out of the bog area? You're still in the bog. You were fighting okay. them in a bog. Um, oh, but you know okay. you're getting close to the village at this gotcha. point. And you guys are walking together. Okay, I'm, can Borky roll a perception check just to see if, uh, just scout around, look at like the water, see if anything gets deeper in case of occasional frogs might eat task or greckles. <laughs> okay, sure. Roll frog vision. <laughs> Frogo vision? Frogo vision. Has a... As he's doing that, has the scenery changed at all? Deeper water, more brush, anything like that? I think that's what he's checking for right now. Mm. Oh, okay, my yeah, bad. That is what I'm checking yeah. for. I'll attribute some... Oh, no, what happened to my skill tree? This is not good. Character you mean? Sheet is... My character sheet is... No... is a... I can't access my character sheet. My player. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, there you go. Oh, there it You're is. on that, core. There we go. You were on bio. You you were on your core. Oh Jesus! I I, I could have sworn I was on character sheet. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, here we well, go. Well, I went through. I had to mess. I had to fix some stuff. So. Perception check. And these Borky, we Borky, see. Borky has it. That's a six. Borky, Borky's still pissed at Gri Gripples. As, as and, you're walking, who's in front of Borky again? Who's in front of Borky? Uh, panic. panic. Is it panic? Panic, yeah. as you're walking with the baby, you're, you're really focused on the baby, and you walk forward, and you push forward a branch, and then you let go of it, and Borky, you're looking at, like, a tree, and it smacks right into your face. Oh! <laughs> oh, can, fuck. Can I... I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> can, I, can I roll a separate perception check to, to check for, um... Geography? Sure. Okay. That's a 15. Okay. You look around, fog, but as you see a break through the trees, you see where Anja is. You see his hill in the distance. Oh. And you see some small brown forms moving. Oh. Which I is... It's his goats. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's just goats. There's lots, there's lots of them. Like, okay. you see tons I thought of maybe them. Two, I thought maybe two large brown forms. Ooh. <laughs> uh, as, as, as we're walking, uh, I'd like to roll an arcana check just to make sure that there's no residual magic that is identifiable to somebody other than the parties. That's not a bad idea. Um, and that's going to be a nine. No. Nine? A nine. A big fat nine. You don't know much about magic, but swamps are probably just made of magic at this that's, point. That's a good Giant point. frogs, I, I was... hags, whatever the hell that giant green thing was. I'm pretty sure that was just a ball of magic. How's, um, how's the, uh, the wispy, uh, mist? Is that getting thicker stay it's thinning out it's starting to thin out a bit okay. uh whenever i get a chance i'd if, if i can be within about 15 feet of borky i'd love to jump in stealth 
you actually, upon this point, like doing all your scouting and looking, you guys reach the break of the trees and you see the village in the distance. All right. Okay. Oh, we did it. it. What time is it? <laughs> it is nighttime. It is very, it's, it's, at this point, it's like the sun's gone. Like okay. You just barely see it's like pink, just a soft, gentle pink at the horizon. Wait a fucking Ooh. hot second. Before we go any further, I'm going to expend my last primeval awareness to make sure this is not an illusion. Ooh, good call. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any hags in this town? You detect no entities. Wait, no, no people? No, no it's hags. Out of your, it's, no. It's, it appears to be out of your range now at this point. Okay, yeah, the hags are behind us that are out of my range, but I just wanted to make sure there was, like, no hags as we're going forward, so it's like, shit, we're walking Actually, right into their lair. I just realized something. You do detect Faye. You detect Faye from the baby. Oh. Right, because shapeshifter. It's a shapeshifter, yeah. But, it's faint, but it's there. It's an Odo. Well, that 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 goes. I, I guess that goes without saying because mm -hmm. the thing is a changeling, so it's like, hey, it's got a little bit of everything in it. Mm. Well, the kids, Faye, but I'm sure it's not going to attack us, so I think we're out of the woods. Then Literally. I guess what the hag told us was the truth. Then I suplexed her. You know that was pretty crazy. We should keep moving. We need to return this child to yep. its mother. Yeah, let's do that. As soon as possible before this thing wakes back up. Um, can, Remy's going to start walking back towards that uh, basically town hall mm. where everybody was gathered to see if yeah. the door is still open. You guys walk uh, through the, the tall grass. Uh, you make your way past the giant rune stones, which there's actually a few more near the edge of these woods. Mm. And eventually you make your way back into town. You see some lights on in the houses, and you do see uh tony blacksmith he's smoking a pipe and the moment he sees you he just drops the pipe and he runs over <laughs> oh my god oh my god thank you Inter. hi hello thomas hello he, he goes to take the baby i uh if it's all the same i'd rather the uh, mother be the first person to hold him yes where's anna she's inside the town hall well that's where we need to be Let's go. I actually, okay. real real fast, before they go in, Borky actually wanna, kind of wants to grab everyone real quick for like one second, real fast. Okay, right, Tony Tony heads in without you guys and just like leaves the door open Perfect. behind him. Should we lock? Because like the hag said the baby is like magic, but do, do they know that? And should they know that? I believe it's something they should know. Oh, yeah. I should. They don't, they don't need to know the origins. They just need to know the kid possesses some magic. At the very least, the mother should know. Oh, yeah, I mean, that goes without question, but I... Yes, we just... We don't want the town getting spooked and doing anything drastic. Mm, that's what I was thinking. I, that's what I was thinking. I would suggest we escort the mother back to her home and perhaps talk to her about it there, away from everyone else. We give her to Babu, and then we go with her to the town hall. Yeah? Yeah? Finger gunning? Yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Let's just let's just let's just get to her first. Yeah. Let's leave the yes. let's leave the magic comment in private with her. There you yes, go. Yes. If she wants to tell the town later, then that that's that's her judgment. Yay. Okay. Uh, that being said, Remy's then gonna walk inside. You take one step and you hear a crashing noise, and Anna's at the door frame. She yes. like <laughs> snap just like that, <laughs> and she she runs up to you, and she's got like just tear stains on her eyes. She goes, Thomas, Thomas, oh my God, Thomas. And she just rushes I, to you, panic. I I hold the baby out to her. And she like she strokes its face. She brings it in, and and she's like like rests her whole forehead up against the baby's forehead, and she's just crying with joy, like absolutely crying. And Tony comes over, and he's like, "Oh, Anna, Anna!" And he kind of stumbles down the stairs, and he, he's got like a sheepskin. He kind of just puts it over her, like, "Okay, okay, Jesus, oh, Kinter." Um, and and she goes. He, he he's not he's not crying he's not doing anything what's going on oh that's uh that that that's my doing hang on and i uh i dispel calm emotions the baby just erupts into, cr into crying <laughs> there and, like, there. <laughs> i say i say there you go <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. for tony's like oh jesus and then like anna's just she doesn't care she does not care and immediately she kind of turns privately and then begins to nurse the baby. And uh, Tony kind of just like makes sure the ship skins on her and he turns and he goes, thank you, like mouthing to you. If mm -hmm. if it's all uh, the same, we would like to escort her back to her home. Yes, uh, ma'am. We, 
when you're ready to talk, we have something to discuss with you. Okay. 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 Thomas, Thomas. And she's like just adjusting him. We'll give you some time. Thank you. Thank you. We should and you just, you just see everything kind of hit her. Like she just like she she puts one hand on her on her forehead and kind of brings it down. And you just see the stress, like even losing the stress is stressful. Um, so he's like, okay, okay, let's sit down. Let's sit down on the on the on the steps. And he just helps her out. Um, Anna looks up to you. I'll I'll meet you at my house. You still have the key. Yep, I do Very have well. the key. We there's, will meet you there. There's some blankets if you if you'd like to rest. And there's some food, if if you'd like to eat as well. I, I don't have very much. If it's all the same, I think it would be best if we actually went there first. Because, as far as we know, something else, we don't know if anything else might be there. We did kind of leave the door open. So, out of character real fast, how about, like, um, like two of us stayed, like, to inform the town of what happened, and the other three can, like, go with... I, I was actually going to suggest that the four of you go with her, and then Remy can just kind of do the, the oh, can, debriefing, can, essentially. Can, can Borky, the soldier bit. Can Borky stay with you, actually? Yeah, that's totally fine. All right, cool, 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 cool. That makes sense. Okay, I'm down with that. All right, All right. Yep. Nadine, are so we you guys like, split up. Can we split? We're mm -hmm. splitting the party. Are yeah, you okay? this, 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 this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Um, you got three. You head out. Uh, Remy and Borky. Uh, mm -hmm. Tony is kind of like he's just making sure that everything's okay. Um, even see a few other like women and men, the, the dragonborn and the and the dwarf from before come out and kind of talk to her, and they're just like, "Oh, we told you, you had nothing to worry about," and like patting her and all that. And the dragonborn gives you like a like a jutted of the of the chin, and Tony gets up and kind of dusts off his pants and walks mm -hmm. over, slopping through the mud. He did good work this day. Uh, you can thank this guy right here. He kept a cool head. Barky puts his like slaps his uh, arm around Remy really hard. This guy right <laughs> here. This guy right here. <clears throat> This guy uh, is so no, just pointing right at him with a big finger. This guy, I, he kept it together. I mean, the other bird oh, almost died. I but him right here. This guy, this guy thanks. kept it together. You're not here Borky. to say thank you. <laughs> You're much too kind, Borky. I assure you. No, no, it's true. Like, and I mean this honestly. It's been great having him around. Uh, and you can thank you. I was. I was hoping to potentially retire, or at least take a break this winter, but after what I've seen you do, I think the army, given the kindness you've given to us, could use a few extra weapons from me. I'd be happy to provide a few free ones. In your name. Uh, that is very generous of you, thank you. What kind of, of weapons, what kind of weapons do you provide? Swords. I mean, honestly, I just make horse tackle things for farmers, mm. fix some tools and things like that, but I can make a few daggers and swords, simple. That's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Borky just nods, just, Borky just kind of um, holds on, has just, has his, pats his giant axe. Yeah. <laughs> he realizes his axe is giant in comparison. Uh, he, assuming, assuming Tony Borky... turns and looks at you, yeah, he's kind of... <laughs> uh, assuming Borky doesn't hold him back in a, a hug, um, he's going to walk over to... Anna real quick and uh, put a talon on her shoulder. She kind of jolts a bit and then looks up at you. The baby, she's just cradling the baby at this point, like kind of patting it on the back and like bouncing it. I told you we'd find your child. I hate to be a jerk, but I didn't think you could do it. <laughs> if I were in your position, I wouldn't believe any person that told me they could find my child. I understand. Thank you. You should go with our friends here. They'll get you back home safely. We have to debrief the town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The orc. Uh, yes, he'll be with me. Yep. Okay. He waves. <laughs> like, really she, quickly. She gets up, and, like, the other one, like, do you need any help? Do you need to be walked home? And she's like, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And she, she takes the sheepskin, he puts, she puts it over top of her baby, and she begins to walk towards her house. Okay, so are we uh, debriefing the town now, or...? Well, we're going to go inside, and then oh, Monty will sorry, tell us sorry. who goes first. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're going to go inside the town hall? Yeah, I guess yeah we're... basically where everybody is that was strategizing. There was that room. Uh, you go in. It's Tony. It's the two women, and then it's about five other people. Mm -hmm. um, looks like mostly, like, probably major farmers. They're, mm -hmm. they, you know, suntanned and, and hard workers. Uh, there's a one dwarf fellow uh, with, with kind of a short beard, surprisingly. Probably a little too warm for the summer. Um, in a shaved head, uh, there is a, uh, a male dragonborn who's green. Um, it's very muscular, uh, has kind of actually like a bag on his back, like kind of like a, a satchel bag on his back. 
And then you see another human man, about the same age as Tony, uh, except for black, long hair, kind of in a, in a t- uh, ponytail on his back. And they're all wearing kind of pretty simple linen clothing, uh, patched up to heck, like absolutely patched up to heck. And they all, they're kind of, kind of talking about what happened. And the, just, they go silent the moment you come into the room. Just the authoritative presence. Mm-hmm. Borky kind of stands behind uh, Remy, kind of to the side a little bit. The dwarf gives you a cautionary glance, Borky. Like a little bit, like he raises one eye, like, hmm. He gives me the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. A um, little bit. <laughs> will, you, will you allow me to roll an insight to figure out whether he's suspicious or if that's just a, it's strange to see an orc here? R- yeah, roll an insight. Uh, <laughs> that's a six. Can Bork- he's a can guy, guys- dude. He looks Some- like the rock. Something. Does, does, that must be the, the pebble. <laughs> does, does, yeah. does Borky notice the look? Uh, Yeah, I'd say because he's looking directly at you. You can, do, you can roll an insight as well. Oh, insight? Okay. The boulder. You mean per- you mean per- <laughs> the boulder. You mean, the you mean, you mean perception? Or no insights. No insight. Insight is basically like sense motive 15. type thing. Ooh. Nice. Oh. This guy's got natural ones on the other end of that. Ooh. Uh you look at it and Borky, you are no stranger. Sometimes dwarves don't really like orcs a whole lot. It's kind of like both parties don't really like each other. Bo- Bork- it's not so much like they'll, they'll kill each other on sight. It's just like there's a bit of a mistrust between the two. Can can Borky, as he's walking in following Remy, can he just like do a fake tip of the hat with no hat? Like, <laughs> at him? <laughs> Roll a charisma check. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, get, yeah, it, get, it, right. get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, baby. Nat 20. Let's go. Nat 20. Mm, okay, hold on. Hold on. I, I... And before Nat 1. Monty, no. Either, either or. Either or. Either, this is a charisma? Uh, yeah, yeah, not a save, a charisma. Stri- just a straight charisma just a straight check. Charisma. Yeah. Seven! Oh, it's a th- nat 20 on the other side, damn it. Oh. <laughs> he just kind of snorts and looks to the table. <laughs> and Borky just keeps his hand in the tip pose as he follows Remy with a grimace. It didn't work. <laughs> Remy, you have... And jazz you hands. Have... <laughs> <laughs> jazz hands. Remy, you have the floor. I hope we're not interrupting anything. Absolutely not, the dragonborn says. <laughs> is how how smooth is his voice? It looks like common is in his first language. Oh, so it's very accented. A little bit. It's it's it, mm. it takes him some time. Okay, you, you can tell there's some gears going in the back. Okay. I have some good news and some bad news. Mm-hmm. While retrieving the child, we were able to kill one of the hags. Yeah, this one right here. Oh, they all they all nod. Borky pulls out the head. Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Uh. The dragonborn smiles. The human also is like, not bad. The dwarf is like, hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> this works Bork- awesome! I like the nonchalantness. Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> Borky does a finger gun. Yep, yep, Bork- yep, I'm going to head. Borky does a finger gun at the dwarf back. <laughs> And then immediately his face goes, mm, okay. Well, no, Instantly just- best friends. <laughs> <laughs> And the bad news. There are still two others unaccounted for. Mm. They are much deeper into the woods. Our companion, uh, the dragon thing, Mm. he was able to sense them. Yeah. Tony, and and the dragonborn turns to Tony. It is either more runes or a wizard. We need wizard. And Tony scratches the back of the neck and goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I beg your pardon. We are one of many villages that does not have a resident wizard. We've had visitations from druids, but uh, no wizard. Wizards tend to help with the nature of this, well, this entire place. Magic seems to persist here and having a wizard locally is safer for a community. If there arises a problem of the arcane, such as a hag, we have someone to consult. Are but... you saying you know the location of one? No, we, we would need to inquire about one. Hmm. But it's a cost, so we must consider it. But I'm sure if we put in a letter and explain what has happened, and perhaps if you could send a word as well, um, we could probably settle something. For now, we will double our guard and ensure that most of our homes are locked, hmm. salt the windows, and... Wait until we hear back from the city. Silly. We are on our way back to Alabast. We could perhaps put in a word. Yeah. I you need assistance. would greatly appreciate that, yes. Of course. I, will, my make, word. I will make sure Greckles does that. <laughs> You're going to let Greckles do it? Oh, he loves doing things. 
I see. His favorite thing to do is just stuff. I would think your friend Task would be the most suited, being ah, no. soldier type. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, into your judgment, you know them better than I. I mean, do I know? <laughs> Does he? <laughs> <laughs> um, real. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, not to backtrack a little bit, but you did say that there's two more hags, right? Yes. Yeah, there are two yeah. hags. Uh, uh, here's again. Borky leans down and just whispers real fast. Should we tell them about Ange and how Ange ripped off a giant hag's arm, and Ange is like. Hey, don't mess with me. I won't mess with you. Uh, have you ever been to the open fields where the, the goats graze? They all look to each other. Goats? Yes. Through the swamps, there's a opened grassland. Many goats and a large creature is the best word I can use to describe it. No, That's we haven't. We haven't gone past the bog. Well, that's where we found the child. Mm. It's a strange creature. Yes, it seemed friendly, though rather innocent, very childlike. Mm. The best I don't believe it to be a threat, but it might be worth investigating. Yeah, so especially if you get a wizard. What? Well, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Finger, yeah, just, mm, 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 just nodding. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, I simply wished you to be aware of its presence. I don't believe it means you any harm. It actually saved the child. Mm -hmm. Well, if it doesn't bother us, we won't bother it. That sounds it, it seems like a, the kind of thing that doesn't want to be, doesn't like to bother people. I'd prefer not to attract any more things no. to this village. I'm sure you understand. Absolutely. Anyway, this has been a very stressful day. I think we all could use some rest. Thank you again. Actually. I think well, we I go, with... I'm going to ask my, f I'm going to, when I get back, I'm going to ask my friend, Lily, if she can go talk to him or something or a druid. Because like, I think it's like a druid, but like a caveman. Your friend is a druid? Yeah, I do. She's a, uh, she's a dorbs. <laughs> Totes of dorbs. God, God damn it. Uh, I don't understand your lingo, but uh, it's, it's, sure. it's orcish. Ah, I see. <laughs> uh, you'll forgive me. I'm not very fluent in orcish. Oh, it's okay. A lot of people don't know about orcs. Are we are we still on front of everybody while we're doing this? Yeah, and yes. everyone is like uh, leaving at this point. Like even the dragonborns is like good night. Uh, <laughs> perhaps we should meet up with your companions. I mean, I guess. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the loo -loo -loo -loo. Um, back in the hall of, of justice. <laughs> um, panic, Task, and Greckles, you guys make your way to Anna's home. Um, it looks like the wind blew the door closed. Um, based on the fact that there's leaves and stuff inside, there's a decent check for of mushrooms. Okay, yes. roll an investigation check. Can do 13. Okay. 13. A 13 as well. Why Let's not? Go for three. 11. Uh, <laughs> you guys, between the three of you, scouring up and down. Uh, you find one more mushroom in the crib, uh, which appears when you pick it up, you feel a little drowsy. You feel a little sleepy. Oh no, get, don't put that shit in a bottle. Okay, um, you, you yeah. put it in a bottle. Yep. And yeah, other than it. that, is there anything else you guys want to look for? Panic's gonna find a chair, sit down. He's he's gonna play Song of Rest. Okay. Hey, task. Yeah, oh, hold on one second. I just want to put mushroom in bottle. Okay, never mind. No, 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 go ahead. I was going to ask if, if, <laughs> if I could hold on to it, but it's cool. No, it's okay. I wanted it. Fuck, fine, I guess. <laughs> no, no, it would be, I, I think it would be, it would be really, it would actually be kind of interesting if that could be made into some kind of like a sleeping poison. Sleep dart? Or something. Sure, why not? Hand it over. All right. One for you guys to shoot in the Borky when he wakes up one morning. Hey, stop. <laughs> yes! The, the, yes! Like a, well, we have like to, a tranquilizer we, dart. We have to call it the snooze button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, um, you play Song gets, of Rest. Uh, yeah, everybody gets uh, 1d6 head points back. Okay. Uh, Monty, did you want to roll that for all of us, or do we do it individually? I'd say... Panic, you roll it. You, you okay. roll the 1d6. Because then if anyone gets blamed, it's you. <laughs> I'm at full health, so I don't need Hooray! it. Oh, 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 no. Enjoy your one hit point. <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, me. I healed you. 
Oh. Oh. Um, eventually, as you're resting there, you're playing your song, you're, you end your song, and then <laughs> Anna comes in. Um, I'm, I'm going to be kind of off in the shadows. Okay. Oh, Jesus. You don't that, say. That, that is really weird for you. Dude, you're really turning over a new feather here. <laughs> All right, so appro approach her. Just to let you fun? know, the hag came in and used mushrooms to block any noise or to create some kind of silent spell or to even lull your child to sleep. We have looked through the house, made sure there were not any more mushrooms to be found. Just be wary going forward. Okay. Thank you. And she puts a hand on your shoulder and gives it a bit of a squeeze. Yep. Um, did you help yourself to some food? I, I have some cream, and I have, and she goes over, um, and she kind of, like, goes to kind of find a place to put the baby down. She goes, I I'm sorry, and she turns to you, panic. Do you mind holding him? He seems <laughs> like you. I don't know about that, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, you, you take him, and he's fine. He's been fed, and he, he yep. seems like he's been properly cared for at this point. You eat something as well. Uh, after you've had a small bit of nourishment, we'd like to actually tell you something. Of course. And she, she goes in and you see her open a cupboard and she pulls out um, a, a loaf of bread and some cheese, just some, some dried cheese. And she begins to slice it and she puts like some cheese on it and she offers it to, a piece to each of you. That's fair. Take a piece. I'll, yeah, I'll take, take a piece, piece as well. It's very nice cheese. It's very creamy. It's smoked as well. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah, it's smoked. It's smoked apple cheese almost, and the bread is is it's crisp. It's crunchy. Um, it's just flaky crust as well. And she she gives her a generous like you see her with the knife going through the cheese, and she goes, okay, small piece, and then bigger piece, and then she cuts for herself. <laughs> and she, she eats pretty pretty ravenously. She's had a stressful day, so she, she also, deserves it. Yeah, she goes over and grabs a pitcher as well and drinks some water. Yep, so once she once she looks like she's had a complete amount of food that like can sustain a little bit of more emotion in her, Task will then perk up. She goes over and there's that one chair uh, that you notice with the shawl on it. She goes over and she sits down on it and then she grabs the shawl and kind of brings it over herself. Yep. Um, and then she like leans over and the baby panic is looking up at your, your, your beautiful tiara. It's very shiny and is just like, you can see reflecting in the baby's eye and the baby's just reaching for it. Task will hold his hand up. Okay. Okay. Task will hold his hand up to take the tiara. Like hand no, it over. No, 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 no. I'm going to do, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Okay. All right, so seeing that the baby likes shiny objects, you know, like mm -hmm. you do, uh, Panic is going to um, see what can I do this with. Uh, I'm going to hang on. I'm looking for something to do this with. Um, but what is the? Dude? I'm going to take. I'm going to take a gold coin. Okay. And I'm going to cast um, press the digitation on it to make it very shiny. Uh, the, the mother looks like, um, I don't mean to be mean, but that's kind of a choking hazard. If you roll in that one, you'll it. blind the baby. I'm not going to give it to him. I'm just, you know, just... You, like, tease the baby, like, <laughs> like, a dog with a treat. God, I'm not, damn it, I'm, you are savage. I'm not built for babies. <laughs> in, any, um, in any case. Bor Borky and Remy at this point, you guys are up at the door of Anna's house as well. Eyes are closed or open? Knock, 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 it's knock, close. knock. I open it. Okay. Oh. From the shadows, the automatic door system seems to work. And the door opens. <laughs> <laughs> well played. I'm not, st for the record, I'm not stealthing. I'm just kind of staying out of the way. Okay, is Bork okay. does Borky notice uh, Greckles in the shadows? Yeah, you see him. Open oh, the door. Whew, oh my goodness. Borky walks past him after being spooked for a second. Anna <laughs> turns to look at you, Taz, because you're about to say something. Uh, what were you going to say? The the hags in the forest, or in the swamp, rather, had spoken to us and said that your child has some sort of magical connection. That's the reason why they were drawn to it. It it's Her eyes immediately, like, purse. Like, they narrow, and they look at you very strangely, like, what? And just, like, she looks to you, and then she looks to you, panic, and, like, she doesn't ask. She just takes the baby back, and she brings it to herself, and she looks very concerned. Yeah. Like he'll be a wizard or a sorcerer. No, 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 not, no, 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 no. Not, 
not quite. Um, promise you won't freak out. <laughs> I she promise. Brings, she brings the baby to her shoulder and kind of like tucks it closer to herself. We, my friend Task here, he has the ability to sense what kind of energy certain creatures give off. Creatures. And, well, you know, the fey. Yeah. Like, say, for example, fey demons, he points over to like fey devils, look, points over to, uh, points over to panic. Hey. Uh, and he looks over to orc, and he looks over to borky orcs. Uh, I can, bo bo I can sense the of... subspecies in people. I, what, he, excuse me. <laughs> and he, and <laughs> task sensed some fey energy emanating from your baby. And given the information we gathered while trying to rescue him, we believe he may be a changeling. She looks to you, blinks. There's some contemplation in her head. N no. No, no. Well, it... It won't become apparent until the baby is older. For all intents and purposes, it is just a natural... And Anna's a human, right? She's a human, yeah. Yep. yeah a natural human baby. It won't show any signs until it is older. At least that's what I've come to gather. Did, did the hags do this? No, the hags no. did not do this. This is natural. Your baby was born like this. We believe... But and then just you see immediately the realization dawn on her, and she just looks to the floor. Borky's sitting there. So who's the dad? <laughs> Motherfucker. Um, I, I smack him in the back of the head. Oh, God. Ma'am, if I may ask a question. Uh, Remy's going to point to the picture that he saw. Is that your husband? Lewis, yes. We weren't married. Is he the child's father? She brings down Thomas and looks at him, the baby. And the baby's got like a, a bunch of his mom's hair in its hand. <laughs> Grappler, this one. Strong grip. I... So it was all a lie. What was all a lie? I... He left me. I... I thought he was gone. He may... He may very well... We do... I... The nature of changelings is very strange. From what I've gathered, they are well, a dying... Tell me what I'm supposed to do when he gets older. What am I supposed to do now? Greckles actually is going to come out of the shadows for a minute and just kind of kneel down in front of Anna. What you can do is love that child with all your heart. To never let him go. And to love them, no matter who or what they are. Because that is the most important thing in your life right now. Hmm. Changeling or not... It is still your baby. 100% your flesh and blood. B Borky sounds like a child here. No matter who the dad is, the baby is still half of you. And sometimes dads suck. Thank you. She stands up. I'm going to put Thomas to bed. You can sleep wherever you wish in my house. I'm rolling an insight check on this girl. Yeah. 18. I guess 15. I will. Yes, I will too. Uh, where is it? There it is. Hee haw, 20. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, task, Greckles, panic, shock. The thing that you feel, and a lot of you know it, there's a lot of hurt there. Mm hmm. But it's is it directed lot. towards her child? Though? No, it's 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 a bit of self-loathing. Okay, okay, like, I was just like, oh, it, boy. It, it literally looking. It's hard to see. Looking at her face, it's 
I was an idiot. I was tricked. Got him. Uh, panic, panic is going. She is she off on her loan right now. She's she's making her way down the the, the bedroom hallway, like she's going into the nursery. Panic's gonna follow. Okay. She goes and she um, taps the mobile on top, leaning over top of the baby's bed. It's a griffin, and there's a dragon, and there's little birds. It's very cute. It looks like um, you, you assume Tony probably made it. Um, the crib's very nice, very simple. Um, and she puts the baby in there, and she goes, "I love you so much. I love you so much." And she pinches the baby's cheeks. I'm so happy you're back. She's like, just, she just looks at the baby. She hears you come in. You see her tilt her head, but she like looks back. This isn't your fault, you know. I know. You you couldn't have known. And to be fair, changelings are a dying race. Every day they're being killed off by something. But given my time and my discoveries on my adventures, I can... I can say that changelings don't just do this for propagation's sake. They fall, and they fall hard. I, I don't know what your life was like with, with the boy's father, but I can say that he did love you. When he does reach that age, and she turns and looks at you, and she's got just tears coming down her face. I'll find a place to go. I'll find the place where we can be safe. Please do not tell anyone about my son. My life's are sealed. Thank you. And if anything happens to me, and she walks up to you and she takes your hand panic, can I bring him to you? Can you save him one more time if I need you? Yes. And she places a stone in your hand. What is this? It's a sending stone. I have the other half of it. If I ever need you, the stone will glow, and I'll leave a message for you. Just keep it somewhere safe. All right. Just and address the something... drawer in your bedroom. Just. And if something should ever happen to the town, you, both of you feel free to drop by Alabast. We will let you in and we will give you shelter in our tavern. Yeah, there we go. Park tavern. Thank you. And she, she reaches up and she, she touches your face, actually. And it's not like flirtatious. There's nothing flirtatious about it. it it's, it's like, it's like, if, She's trying to believe you're real, almost. Like, this is a real person. And she grabs your face, and she grabs your shoulders, and she brings you in for a hug. I hug her back, and Panic's eyes kind of, like, really and off in the distance. He's never really felt a mother's touch before. And as you stare forward, you see the baby sleeping in the crib contently. And she lets you go. <sighs> okay, there's some blankets in the chest in the living room. You can use however many as you want. I can wash them tomorrow. Thank you. No, thank you. Deserve you deserve some rest as well. I think so. And Thomas, too. Yes. Well, good night, Anna. Good night. What was your name? Panic. Panic Groom Tongue. Panic. The best goddamn bard in the realm. <laughs> <laughs> Newly appointed godfather. <laughs> A very strange title. <laughs> I guess so. Good night. And she ducks out. I'm panicking. And you see her go into her bedroom. And gently, she doesn't close the door all the way. She does leave it open, even though she's like the nursery as well. She's got it propped open as well. So she's not closing the doors tonight. Mm -hmm. we'll panic will... Uh... Rest, you make a pillow forts? Yeah. 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 Walk to the rest of the group. <laughs> um, is there a this is my spot. There are many others like it, but it's mine. <laughs> is, there, is there a couch that's now Borky's? 
Uh, there's a couch. There's also the chair. Um, there's also some extra cushions, and there's tons of blankets. Uh, it, it actually looks like she's a quilter, actually. Oh, excellent. That that makes this so much easier because Borky's taking the couch. Well, okay. time to be hitting the all. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> panic. The hits the pillow. Hmm? It might be a good idea if we take watch. We don't know if those other two hags are going to come back. That was I, what I was going to suggest. Borky, I agree. Borky pops up. What? Go back to sleep, Borky. No, I want to talk about my emotions. <laughs> Go to sleep, Borky. Oh. Says God. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Go to sleep, Borky. Okay, God, I guess. Do we actually take I agree, but uh, if if the hags do if the hags do come by, wake me up first. They're afraid of my weapon. That's fine. All right, I'll yep. take first watch. Can Borky climb up to the top of the house? You want, what? <laughs> really good, really good, wait, van, really good wait. vantage point. What? Uh, okay. I'm the, I'm the bird now. Uh, 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 Go roll an athletics check. Uh, You're in the rain, by the way. Yes, I know. Okay, I got this. All right, Goliath, let's nat go. Nat 20! Oh, God. Nat Are you kidding me? Did he just nat 20? He just nat 20. You, like, like... Like oh, what are the bars? Like the bars, like the like the pull up bars. You like full on just pull up onto the roof. Like you don't even have to like use your legs. Can, You're just like roof. Can I? Did I pork? Did Borky? <laughs> did Borky? Bork R up like par parkouring up. You like launched yourself with your own arms. Like you just like catapulted yourself up onto. You the know roof. what I now witness? I witness Borky doing the side jump from Super Mario Odyssey. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty strong. And that's that's. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And Borky does like the just the super does like the, the like the superhero landing really calmly and then sits down. I will say for the sake of this, uh, everybody roll perception checks just right now. Okay. Is okay. It Yay, ten. Sight base, you have a twenty-two. Uh, eleven. And Twenty for Remy. Time for a nat one. Uh, Here comes a nat one. I'll take a twelve though. That works. It's there's a lot of rain and also it's cold and wet up here. Gross. Uh, you eventually make your way down. <laughs> Uh, everybody does their respective watches. Panic, you got a lot on your mind. Greckles, you got a lot on your mind. Um, Remy, you're up with Greckles. You guys switch out. Um, um, what do you do? Um, is So is Greckles going in to go to bed? It, it appears so, yeah. Greckles is just like, okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm, uh, Remy's going to stop him before he goes in, since they're both outside. Oh, what, what's up? That was quite a speech. Yeah, well, it kind of comes when you don't know your parents, or they're presumably killed. I see. I figured advice like that only comes through living it. Sometimes the want is stronger than the living. And what do you want, Greckles? To find my real family again. Yes, in the long term, but short term, there's something you want, too. I want to go see Sully. It's, she's been on my mind ever since we, well, ever since you caught us flying from the air. I worry about her. I, I have no idea what may be done to her. She could be dead for all I know. That thing you carry around with you, did that belong to her? What, this? And he pulls out the fan. No, not that. What? The mask. You showed it when you first showed up. Screaming about something or other. <sighs> Remy, do you, do you believe in oaths of secrecy? <sighs> yes, I do. Then I apologize, but I can't tell you. I'm not asking you to tell me. I'm asking to see it. Why? Because I'd like to give you a gift. Greckles very begrudgingly doesn't even take it completely out of like his his top where he's got it tucked in. Just kind of flashes it. Uh, when he does that, Remy is going to pull out a scroll. With your permission. What do you plan to do? Uh, when he says that, you will hear Contramendasium, and he will cast the uh, men spell. 
Mending spell? Okay. Yep. I would like you to roll a d100. Oh, oh shit, oh. yeah! That 100. The DM's dice! That 100. Come on, baby. One in 100, baby. There we go. All right. I want it. Roll one. Uh, 88. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh. good! That's well, I don't know if high or low is good, so it's an 88. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Nothing happens. Um. Now the cracks seal up. Well, it was worth a shot. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. And he tucks it back in. I never did thank you for saving our lives, did I? That's the good thing about friendship, is you never have to. That's true. I just hope once all this is said and done, uh, we'll be able to see you again. I take it you're going to be going back to the front lines. Yes. That's where I belong. That's where my family is. Your family? Some of it, yes. The riders. Ah. Uh, it's a you good see, lot you have. Yes, well, your family inside is quite the lot as well. We get along. Been through a lot. <laughs> and Greckles just kind of chuckles a little bit. You've been more than a lot. You've certainly been through, dare I say, the very heavens, if what you tell me is true. Well, that's probably about the extent that I can speak of it. Just remember to lean on them. I didn't know about your family, but this can be your family as well. I'm starting to see that more and more every day. Good. Speaking of which, I should see mine when I get back to Alabast. Oh, where, where are they at? Middle, uh, upper, lower? Uh, last, I believe they were in middle. Maybe they made it to upper, I'm not sure. It's been some time. May I ask their names? Of course. My mother's name is Olivia. <sighs> my sister is Aria. And, oh, my stubborn brother. His name is Lucio. Well, if we get a chance to run into them, I'll definitely say hello. Do they run any shops or restaurants or anything of that nature? My brother's a half-decent blacksmith. My sister's good with crafting items of a more magical nature, and... Well, I dare say there's not a smell my mother can't figure out. Sorry, I'm writing stuff down. <laughs> I, I, I'm entranced by this right now, so I'm just... Do you think we will ever see each other again? That's hard to say. Being on the front, your life is anything but guaranteed day to day. Hmm. Well, if you do make it back, ah, uh, who am I kidding? We're going to show you a great time at our tavern. Oh, you have a tavern now? Oh, yes, the sweet dragon. It's, uh, we have interesting employees, to say the least. Riddle me this for a moment. You're... Cobalt friend, Task is, was it? Uh, yes. He's a soldier, yes? Yeah, I'd say he is. Has he ever thought about signing up for the Vetrion army? At least looking into assisting them. I know where you're going with that, and I think that's a good idea. I'm just saying he's got a good head on his shoulders, and he certainly knows his way around a bow. That's true. Maybe he'll be interested in signing up for a guard position, or, heck, maybe even teach some guards a thing or two when we get back to Alavast. Well, if I don't kill something soon, he's not going to let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> anyway, you should get inside. I'll watch the door for now. Uh, if you're gonna do that, promise he'll give them back, though. And he hands, o he hand o he hands over the, uh, the goggles. Goggles of night, you're dark. Um, you don't have dark vision, so now you have dark vision of 60. Oh, I can see very far and very well, even in the dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can see through the darkness to a certain point, your vision kind of can only go so far with those. Just be sure to let us have those back when we're done. Well, you tempt me with a gift. I don't know. These would be quite handy on a griffin. 
He he chuckles. We'll see. I'm gonna go get some shut eye. Yes, that's probably smart. Um, as you stay watch, uh, roll a per- uh, you already rolled your perception check. You're good. Yes. Uh, there is a bit of a disruption. <laughs> the baby starts to cry in the middle of the night. Um, and before any of you guys, some of you even like notice, like just rising out of bed, like blah. blah, blah. Uh, Anna's already in the room. Like you just hear hunk, and you just hear her run into the other room, and then it quiets down. And then you hear her like half asleep go back into her bedroom. That's about all that happens. And then right. it's Task's watch. Tag right. out, soldier. I'm good. Remy's gonna take off the goggles and hand them to Task. Oh, I don't need these. Task taps like near his temples and smiles. Ah, I see. Built in. Yep. Must be a nice feature. When you live in the darkness, it helps out a lot. Well, I suppose that's true. Do me a favor. Don't kill anything while you're out here. I'm already behind as it is. <laughs> oh, no promises on that. Have a good watch task. Aye, right, get some sleep. I'll do my best. Uh, yeah. Rem's going to go inside, take off his armor, and try to get some Okay, you do. Um, you guys actually have a very good night's sleep. The quilts are very comfortable. We the couch a, is very comfortable. We got a solid eight. Yeah, you guys oh, got oh, a solid wow. eight. How rare. I, I, can't, I, can't be- I can't believe that you're actually sleeping on the roof there. I, I can't imagine that he just like fumbles over, hits the floor, and he just still keeps he, sleeping. He, he came down. He came down from the roof. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're kind of just being long rested. Does that mean we get full health, or do we have to roll a die to get health back? Uh, actually, that's a good question. Usually, I do just full health because I. You had a, we had a long rest. Yeah. Stop getting long home. Stop getting us homework. <laughs> I was just making sure. I want to know. That I, need to heal. I need to do the heal things. We, uh, we, had, we had a long rest, so I'm pretty sure we get everything back. Besides I'm pretty that, sure I'm, you do. I think we have been. Like we have been since we started this game. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't think... Long uh, rest. A long rest is a period of extended downtime, at least eight hours long, during which the character must sleep at least six hours and perform no more than two hours of light activity, such as reading, talking, eating, or standing watch. Uh, the character also gains spent hit die up to a number of dice equal to half of the character's total number of them. What? All right, then I'm fully healed. Woohoo! Yeah, just roll... Just uh, the character also gains hit die up to the number of die equal to half of the character's total number of them. I get yeah. magic back. Yeah, so two, two dice. Lot. So 2d12 for Borky. Uh, I think I'm a D... 10? 10. I think I'm a D10. I'm a fighter. I should be. Oh, gosh. Am I a D6 or a D8? You're a D6, I believe. I think Bork- okay. So Borky's just a full health, then. Borky barely. So, do I have to roll? Roll, roll two D12s, yeah. Oh, this is how long rests work now? Alas. Woohoo! I'm fully healed. <laughs> two, two or four. Yeah, you're a D10. I'm D12? Uh, uh you need two D6, not two, one D6 plus two. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Derp, sorry. Hang on. All good. Let me go fix my math. Where was? Where did I put Borky's health? God damn. Oh yeah, he's up to full oh, anyway. Okay. That's okay. Good. Yeah, up to full. I'm only right. one shy. Yeah, Borky's up to full anyway. Oh, okay. You guys wake in the morning, and uh, whoever was on last match, you see Anna. She's cooking up eggs. Um, she actually gives you guys a breakfast, and you guys you don your ar- armor, uh, Remy. And she gets you all ready. She gives you a warm breakfast because it's still raining. Um, and she like she does the motherly thing where she's like, okay, well, don't catch a cold and like helps you out and kind of she's like, do you need any food or anything? Uh, I would advise we have some kind of a meal. We have a bit of a journey to get to mm-hmm. the of city. She goes over, she grabs that bread loaf and she wraps the whole thing in the cheese and she Ooh. hands it to you, Remy. Nice. That sounds good. I just want bread. Thank you, Milady. Thank you. Uh, Remy's gonna eat. He's hungry. Okay. She she gives you guys each two eggs. Nom, 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 nom. Oh yeah, eggs, motherfucker. Do you just eat them whole? <laughs> well, they're oh. you you looked at a cook plate. The hell is this? You yeah, no, exactly. I was about to say. I was about to ask. Like he looks down at the plate. Is it uh, cooked? I have, I have a quick question. If they're hard boiled egg, hard boiled eggs, do uh, Greckles and Remy uh, eat it at a disadvantage? <laughs> oh, <laughs> bird that's jokes fucked up bird <laughs> jokes bird jokes uh, I, i'm sure task has seen what a fucking fried egg is yeah, we, we cooked have. fried eggs buddy yeah, yeah yeah we did you saw one turn into a spider and get eaten by crows look guys terrifying. they're chickens they're not real birds <laughs> oh my god um and with that the road is laid out ahead of you 
Are we waving still goodbye? Raining. Are we waving goodbye at all the side characters as we're leaving town? You wave goodbye to Anna. Uh, the rest of the town. Tony also sees you on your way out and gives you a wave from the forge. But before we go, um, would uh, would we know what the standard like working lower class wage would be? Oh, that's a question. What is what are the social economic what, what is what is the social economic uh, class system in this? In this yeah, yes. What, what is the, what, what is the D and Dow look like? I have the answer if you let me talk. <laughs> mm, I want to keep guessing randomly. <laughs> in, in three in three five, it's one silver piece. Okay. Yeah, it's different mm -hmm. in this edition. I know I've, there's a chart in the Dungeon Master Guide. Uh, yeah, that's hey. Roll for paycheck. <laughs> Roll for paycheck. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll just make it up. I would say like one gold piece would be you could buy like a decent amount of food with that. Um, okay. Uh, like for her, like how much do you want to give her? Really, like um, what kind of what do you want her to get? Like um, clothes or like food for the baby or something like that. Just just anything she needs. So I'm just gonna slip her eight gold. Okay. She looks at you. She goes, "Are you sure?" I don't need it. You need I it honest, more than I do. I honestly should be paying you though. You've got. You've. You've got, got the. Baby. We got the one coin from our commission. You've got a baby to take care of now. I'd say you need it more than I do. I, I actually do get money quite often, weirdly enough. Just take it. Okay, thank you. Put hagproof glass in the windows. I'll we'll look into that. <laughs> <laughs> they have those. It's called a mirror. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Greckles, if you've been wearing it, yes. Okay, thank you. Right, and uh, I guess we out? leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys head out. Uh, there's now a better road between this village and Alabast. It almost has some cobblestone in it. Knowing the mines down um, south, Remy, seeing a road here is no surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, what whatsoever? It's it's this this used to be like really thriving. Like there used to be ore coming out of here and, and shipped right up to Alabast. It helped build up the city. Has was it stopped because of the attacks down south, or did they yeah. just run out of material? They basically they had the nice roads; they were destroyed. Given that no one really uses them, they weren't cared for. Mm -hmm. um, but between um, Humbrack and and what you know is Alabas next, it's very easy walking. It's very nice. There's no mud or dirt, and considering the rain, that's kind of a nice thing. Mm -hmm. There's is some it... off kilter stones that could use some fixing, but nothing. That would take out a wagon. Are we still in what would be considered the woodlands, or is it pretty much flat earth all the way? It's flat earth, uh, a lot of farmland. You were you were passing yeah. like fields upon fields of farmland, uh, very rich looking farmland. It looks like the harvest is almost ready to be pulled up. Uh, Some of it already has been. Here's a weird thing because I, I I think Remy would at least know about this. Uh, the farmland where Ginter's Folly happened. Are they going to pass that? No, not Good. here. Good, because <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> that's 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 no. to the north. That's to the northeast, right? That's to the um. That's to the northwest. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, sweet. And then, then we're good. No, no poison farmland. Hooray! No, no poison farmland. You guys are good. Hooray. All right, all right, Gre uh, Greckles, what are you doing? I'm gonna stealth on the flat ground. <laughs> hey, Borg, hey, you want to see? You want to see a trick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see Greco's reach for the hat and do a slight tip and then in a puff you see <laughs> you see yourself saying hey look at me I'm Borky what? Borky just <laughs> puts his hands to the face of Borky <laughs> and just goes you are worth it you are worth it <laughs> <laughs> it's me falls to his knees and puts his hand on the other porky's chest oh no no you gotta get up we gotta do a hug we gotta hug it no, out no i don't deserve yeah. it no uh, get up we gotta hug it up come here oh, come uh, and I, and then, oh, and then, oh great the mantra in stereo test says out loud. <laughs> I, I i puff back Sorry. okay yeah as as you do you hug porky i do hug, i do hug porky okay the moment the moment you touch porky you immediately change back the hat stops working. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs>
You're I not me. Bork, yeah, I believe you refer to it as a uh, a jape. Oh, did you? Borky just goes right up to him. <laughs> just to his ear. Did you just hustle me? <laughs> yeah, I did just hustle you. Oh. And he just kind of he just kind of hits him in the shoulder, just like a bro. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I could have sworn Borky was gonna say, "Is that me?" Oh god, I'm so damn ugly. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, so no, sad. no. But Borky, Borky's what positive Blast. reinforcement. But... <laughs> Remy, as you're walking, did you want to say anything else to the the party? Here? Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna steal Task for a second. Okay. While uh, they're goofing around. I while they're you. goofing around, Task, Remy you. grabs you and kind of pulls you aside. What? What? Did you find something for the final count? Uh, no, I, I'm more curious about where you learned your skills. My skills. Yes, you're a warrior, are you not? Oh, Tass like looks down at like whatever broken armor is left from all the fucking chicanery that's happened this past God knows how long. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Well, in the uh, mountains of Iron Oath, I was a taskmaster, or yeah, pretty much that. I was a taskmaster for my uh, cl uh my clan. Interesting. So you, you led a platoon? Yes. My sister led one. I followed in her footsteps. She was more of a battle medic. I became more of an archer. And from then, I tried to teach my younger sister the ways of combat. Didn't work out so well. So we just left her to do as she see fit. Where are they now? Are they currently running said platoon while you're out here? Dead. I see. You have my condolences. It's all right. It's not, it wasn't common knowledge. I'm sensing a theme amongst you. <laughs> I guess tragedy does bring people together. In a weird way, I didn't expect to have a party of other characters alongside me on this little quest of mine. I'm still in the midst of searching for someone in the city, and that still hasn't been resolved. Not resolved how? I came to this city looking for someone, and in return for helping the halfling, she would give me someone who would be able to find this person. Last I saw, they were out looking for more clues, and I feel like I've lost some money in that investment as I haven't seen them since. Hmm. I mentioned this to your friend, but perhaps the Vetrion army would have resources you could utilize, assuming you offered up something in return. They just see me as a kobold. Why would they ever want me to be in their ranks? Because, if you'll forgive me, they don't really care what you are as long as you can swing a sword or shoot a bow, and quite frankly, you're one of the most talented bowmen I've ever seen. If the pay is good, I don't see why not. Maybe don't think about the pay so much as the resources, especially if you're looking for someone. They know things. They have information that would be valuable, and sometimes information is much more valuable than simple coin. A valuable proposition. It's something I might consider. Just something to keep in mind, thought I would offer. Another then... quick thing before you head off, he, like, grabs him by the shirt, <laughs> lay by the back of the armor and pulls him back. Yes. Your friend, Winter, she doesn't have any... You said you just found her out of nowhere, Yes. Yes, in the forest. So, that little act she pulled before we left, I was trying to do the salute our people do. Rather, she touched my chest, and I feel there might be some strange connection as to the experience we had before falling from the heavens. Had Remy ever seen her do that ever? No. Well, I'm at as much of a disadvantage as you are. I've never seen her do that to anyone. Is there any way you can keep me in contact with her? She doesn't seem to know very much about anything outside of your front line. Yes, she's been on the front line since we essentially adopted her. As I said, she took to flying better than anyone I've ever seen. She has a knack for it. I suppose I could keep you in contact, though once I go back, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world to send word to you. That's fair. As long as you can at least provide some, I don't expect you to make this your long duty. 
I will see what I can do, presuming I know your location. The Sweet Dragon Inn. <laughs> I see. I suppose I'll send updates there, then. Very good. Thank you. Of course. Now, you better find something to kill before I beat you in this game. Uh, you're not kidding. No, and I'm as not. You, as you guys say that, you see Alavast on the horizon. Ah, looks like I won! <sighs> I suppose you have. Well met, Kobold. And he puts out his talon. Well met, Kenku. And shakes his hand. Panic falls to his knees and <laughs> onto the ground. It's just like, oh! <laughs> thank, thank every god who's listening right now. Are we on a hill? <laughs> Uh, kind of. It's like you've kind of gone over a little bit of a hill. Oh, dude, it's the fucking, like, beginning of the- it's the end of the first arc in Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> oh, yeah, when you see the whole city, you like, the pan out. Right? Yep. Yep. Borky sees the city, and Borky stands there. <sighs> Wait, <sighs> what is this? Max his head a couple times. It's time. Every, everyone, do my thing. Everyone, back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah, Grackles, you can stay close. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wanna, I wanna one-up this. Uh, what? Wait, I, out of I, character I, I, or in character? I don't... No, no, in character, completely in character. What? Well, no, really quick, Monty, because we identified it, is this a standard uh, hat of, of... What is the tech guy? Hat yeah. of disguise, yeah. Disguise. Uh, okay. it, it basically casts the disguise self-spell. It lasts an hour and takes an action to do. Okay, I have but, to look at the hat of disguise to see how many times you can do it. Uh, um, I, I saw in Rule 20 at will. That's why I wanted to confirm. Yeah, at will. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, Holy I shit. Just, I, do, I do the poof, and I become Borky, huh. and I mimic his voice. Oh let's go. All right, let's, let's do it. I cast Thaumaturgy on Greckles. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, you do, are, are you are you are you doing it for me right now? Is this what you're doing right now? I'm I'm doing this for you, big boy. Oh, you sound ridiculous. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's time. Time to get, get Orky. Orky. It's time. It's time to, to get, get Borky. Borky. <laughs> ah, and in stereo. <laughs> Task has never looked more depressed in his life. <laughs> that goes Hurts. double for Remy, who's both chuckling and sighing at the same time somehow. <laughs> and panic and just from the grass around you. Like, it's just like thousands of birds just erupt from the grass. Shoot the one! Air. Three to one! Shoot a bird! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what, is the, what does the town look like? Town? You mean Alabas? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a city. We'll roll a perception check. Perception. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm checking to see if there's any like long-term destruction or like repairs you, or anything. You have to. On. You're it's far away. So you're going to do a perception. I know. I'm just I'm just I'm just uh being specific. Seventeen. Everything looks fine. The outer walls look fine. You can even see the the white of the tent town outside mm. of the entrance. Mm. You do notice one thing: the attic is slacked. Oh. The chains are loosened. It's not. You remember how it was tight? almost lifting, like, resisting the chains. It's now tilted to one side slightly, and the chains are drooping. Oh, I, 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 like, I, like, shove everybody to get to their attention, and I point up to the attic. Crap! Ooh. You do remember that Lies said that he was leaving a piece of himself there to keep it there, to keep everything functioning. Um, but himself... Um, in a in a personal sort of existence is kind of done. Well, as long as it's still there, that's at least something good to know. Mm hmm. Yeah. I say we get back into town, and see how everybody is doing. I it's felt it's be it's been like a couple of days, but it's felt like months. Everyone looks at the camera. <laughs> 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 hey, Ray. I, for the. Uh, real fast. Yes. Do we want to take a quick five-minute bio break, guys? Real fast. Yes. I'm down with oh. that. Uh, real fast. I'm gonna go grab some water, guys. I'm gonna read off some bit drops. Is that okay, Nindy? Do it. Go you for know. it. As long as it doesn't take too long, because I need a lot of time. We might go late today, guys. Okay. 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 Fun with me. I'm gonna get water. Uh, okay. I gotta. I gotta tape something out. I'm gonna use a bio break too. Hi, chat. I'm still here. So so am I. <laughs> That was fun. <clears throat> uh. 
Alrighty, guys, one second here. I am back now, guys. I'm going to try and get through these through these bit drops as fast as I can, guys, because you guys have been being so kind and giving so much. Oh, let me go get a drink. Sir McCheese, 1,000 bits for the best, boys. Uh, I'm going to try and call out the subs, too. There's a fair amount of subs coming in here. Uh, Phantom Mig, thank you so much. Uh, Kenjin135, thank you so much. Uh, the Red Storm Crow, thank you so much. Uh, the the Jay Clazer, thank you so much for the sub. Sir McCheese, thank you so much for the, the sub. Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Probate, 1,000 bits. Talk to roll, nat 20, when he's doing something ridiculous. I am very lucky so far. Rank Shot, thank you for the sub. And we're going to keep on going here. Arson Light Crow, thank you for the resub. Uh, mine Schwanz Schart Wistial is very German, very, very German. Thank you for the five month resub. Uh, Holy Murdy, thank you so much, uh, for the six month resub. Stopping Ranger, thank you so much, uh, for the sub. Uh, Mick Lar oh my goodness, you guys are, it's, it's flying. You got, it is flying right now, guys. Wow, there's a lot of subscriptions coming flying in here, guys. Mick, Mick and John, thank you for the three month resub. Coleman000, thank you for the sub. Geosil, two, four, oh my goodness. 2486, thank you for the three month resub. This is whew, my lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, Karen, thank you for oh, gifting. Sorry, Austin, by the way, for taking. Thank you for gifting those subs. Sean TK, thank you for the sub. D4C Strice, thank you for the sub. There are so many subs. My god, Red Moose 89, thank you for the sub. Apocalyptic of Doom, thank you for the sub. Rip of your Rip you Anubis, thank you very much for the sub. The Goblet of Fun Making, thank you for the sub. Ooh, lordy, 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 lordy. I'm going to try my best. We we're, were being raided by a bunch of people, but ooh, am I. Sweet. Oh, there are a lot of bits that are not being. Ooh, what is what is happening here? Like now, there's like a big one day. Ooh, hey, all right. Hello. Like I gotta like refresh this. One second. Get a nice handful of Le mini peanut butter infused pretzels. Lejake, thank you for the five thousand bits, Lejake. My goodness. Thank uh, you. Not able to pull off the works. I hope this will do for now. Pizza Guide and Payday Delivery Large Edition. Thank you so much. Eleven, thank you for the five month resub. Oh my lord, my lord, my lord, lord. There's so many bits flying. There's so many bits flying. Uh there there were a bunch of earlier bit drops, but they're not coming up on my uh on my uh Steam Labels has a uh, little bit of a hiccup. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing out on, on several thousand bit drops. I do apologize. I did notice them at the beginning of the stream when we were starting up, guys. I do apologize that I'm not able to see them real fast here. I'll see if I can figure this out, guys, towards the end of the stream and give you guys the proper yep. shout-out that you deserve. Is oh, everybody, you, uh, everybody back? You, everyone's back? Yeah, yep. I'm back. All right. Let's go. Yep, I'm here. Da, na, Snake, Guido, Gaijin. Gaijin never left, yep. Yep. Okay, yep. cool. I, I do well, need to poke Remy real quick. We're all done with Bio Break Infinite. Here we go. You need to poke what? I need to poke Remy. That's Real gross. Thing. That is the fight. Finally. I thought I think you mean peck. Do you yeah. want to do this in the field or would it be okay if I had this where you guys are in the city? <laughs> I'm sorry, can you peck in the field? I'm I'm literally <laughs> just I'm literally just asking for the goggles back. Oh, okay, okay. Then you can do that in the field. <laughs> Remy, Remy, you are you are poked. You got, oh you got, you got yes. that thing you got that thing I lent you. Yes, of course. I, I would never cheat a man out of his own goggles. <laughs> um, uh, I appreciate that. It's uh, it's a little embarrassing, but it's something that all of them can do naturally that I can't. Uh, no, I've been there. They're not that expensive. You might want to look into getting your own pair. Yes, that requires, um, how do you put it? Money! <laughs> I'm severely lacking in funds. I've been fighting a war. Mm. Uh. You should for the sake of brevity, you should twist. Yeah, for the sake of brevity, let's just keep yeah, going. Let's walk. Yeah, for the sake of brevity, you guys make your way through the tent town. Nothing's changed. Um, it's, people are fighting on the streets. It's awful. There's that one tavern you guys went to, and looking at it now, boy, was did it suck. It sucks. Oh my god. More, um, more you guys more make your way into the the first wall, and immediately your guys your guys's tickets are checked to be sure that you guys are permitted entry. Uh, Remy, you as well. Does he Alrighty. Have a he has a ticket. Too. Yes, hand him over. He has a ticket, yep. Yep. Sweet. Ticket. Just hand, hand him over. It. Instantly handing out a ticket. Abacus. 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 Yep. <laughs> Abacus. No, my name's he's Bolt. a tiny, my name's he's Bolt, a tiny yeah, little pygmy owl man. He's so small. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's got a set of glasses. What is his name? What is his name? Is it uh, it's Horus. His name's Horus. Oh, why, why, can it, why can he not be Little Hoots? I'm sorry. 
sorry. That was his nickname uh, in high school, and he's very, guys, very, very yes. sensitive about it. Don't worry. When he grows up, he turns it into his rap name to turn the negative into positive. That's it's fine. good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> the heat bears down upon you. All right. Well, you you four can go in. Uh, uh, and uh, you, ticket, please. Ticket. Oh, Bell for Belton. High places. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, you have clearance to the High District Ooh. Council. Oh, bravo, bravo. High roller. <laughs> At your leisure, of course, uh, but you will be escorted by guards upon entry into that district for obvious reasons. Of course. Uh, is there some place I should meet them? Yeah, well, wherever that letter's got to go. I, I see. You do I have think... two letters. Don't don't forget. You yeah, got one. Oh, no, I, I know. I have two. I have the one, the important one, and then the important one. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. You guys make your way into the lower general district. Making it way is. Wow. It's busy. <laughs> it's weird. You guys were away for four days. You remember destruction and a bunch of crazy stuff. Everything's fixed. Wow. The fuck! Mm, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I bet that's I, I bet that's the, the dwarves doing. They build things pretty quick. They do. I heard a story one time. You know, dwarf. Can a dwarf be so destructive that not even he can rebuild it? And it's like it makes you think. It really does. Uh, I would like everybody to roll a perception check. Oh no! Is it and do? And we, we find Ooh, another. Which we one find two. We find Willow in the street, almost being killed by another person. Oh, that <laughs> twenty! Give me that money. Let's go. Oh. Sixteen. Um, I see 16. the Ethernet. You see, Remy, as you're walking, the strangest thing in the distance. You oh. see a rope, like a balloon, and at the end of it, a giant bass. What? That's like swimming what? in the oh. air. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You ever take your walk, oh. fish out for a walk? I, so it's a it's a rope. It's a rope, and the fish is flying in the air, like it's okay. swimming through the air like water. Do I see this with a twenty-two? You do as well. Uh, is that a fish on a rope? Boys, I think that's Willow or Doros. Good. Uh, I need to speak to her. Let's you, go. Wait, you know it? Work this way, well, Borky cartwheels. I don't know. I, 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 all right. Roll an acrobatics check, Borky. I want to see how good this cartwheel is. Work this way. <laughs> Just to get through it, he has like the cartwheel through Flops the Flops right into a fruit cart. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh, you said ac is acrobatics? Acrobatics. Yeah, you're going for Quirk, a cartwheel. this here. way. 21. You do, oh a my God. Sick a you do a sick cartwheel off of a crate. Yeah. You get some air. <laughs> <laughs> Borky runs uh, towards it. Yeah, you guys run towards the fish, and, and as the fish comes clear into view, you also see the head of Doros. Mm. Uh, he's not wearing his armor. He's wearing a ridiculous outfit with, with puffy shoulder sleeves, and I think oh it's called God. a... What's it called? A doublet? I think it's called a doublet. Oh my god! Yes. Yes. A doublet. I think that's what it's called. I, 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 I Jack's gonna angrily message me if I get that wrong. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> it, it's, it's, in, it's, it's, it's embroidered. It's got buttons to it. You can only see the top half of them. You see him, he's looking down. It looks like he's kind of talking. Um, and he's holding on to his fish. Uh, and Jack is already typing to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, actually, doublet. Hooray. Okay. Yeah, yeah I got it right. Um, and eventually, he, uh, he, he Doros with his. Actually, let me see if he notices you guys. Mm. You guys do kind of stand out as well. The fish is currently on the rope. Is like not really following along with the rope. It's kind of like it's swimming forward, so it's doing that thing where like the rope is taut and it's just like beginning to nosedive into the ground. And every time Doros is like, no, like pulling it. <laughs> would you say? Would you say this That's bass so is as good. stubborn as a corgi? Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, Doros does not notice you. It seems he seems very preoccupied. Can, can, Bork, um, can Borky tap him on the shoulder real fast? He's tall. Can, um, can Borky like <laughs> like how tall is? Uh, can we, real, real quick, some people forget how tall how tall is Doros. He's eight feet tall. Okay, Borky He's... like jumps up a little bit to tap him on the shoulder. He turns like, <clears throat> like immediately turns, and you see popping out from around him is Willow, and her arm is slinged. Guess who's got fight? Who's got whose thumbs and who's alive? These guys! Oh my God, Mr. Borky! And she runs over and she hugs you. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's so Hello. great to see you. Oh my God! 
oh, Mr. Task, and she runs no, over no, to he's, you, he's, Task. He, no, no, I'm, no, no, not him, not him. She gives, she gives you like a hug, like she pulls you into her stomach. Just Taz, like, oh, Taz has no idea how to handle that, but he's just like platonic friend pat, like, okay. Did you, did you give her the Christian side <laughs> hug? I kind of did. <laughs> Um, and then she goes, oh, Mr. Greckles, hello. Oh, everything looks great. Hi. And she gives you a hug, but she's, you, you do notice her arm slinged and she hugs you with one arm and, and, oh, Mr. Panic. And she runs over <laughs> and you see Doris, I, like his lips purse and he just kind of like glances to the side. Like, I'm not looking at this. You, you see just Panic. It looks like absolute shit. Had a baby tugging on his hair. At, <laughs> How only got good amount of sleep last night. His clothes are fucked, and he's just he's just like hello and wraps her look, and he, he looks down at her and just like what happened? I should ask the same of you. I am. Um, oh, this she looks. You, you see her hand now. You see black veins almost on her hand. Oh God! Oh. Damn. I am. Um, oh no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Dor- Doros helped me. Um. I guess everyone was really, you know, jumpy with everything going on, and 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 the, you know, the lower general district is very dangerous. Um, I got attacked again, but but but, and she blows the whistle, your whistle, and you hear, ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. you see Tarisk, bright blue. He's much more blue than you've seen him. His Just... nails are cut. He's perfectly clean. He's also gained about twenty pounds. Oh. <laughs> He's Mother. got. What? He's got he's got frosting all over. So you see Remy as this giant guard drake, like a dragon, almost like the size of a dog, starts like running up and sits next to Willow. It's got a big red ribbon around his neck too, like a ridiculously huge. It's so, obviously, so do you it's know obviously not lion? hostile, right? No, no, it's not hostile. No, it's like a dog. Like, oh my god! Hi. The clone Tass does the clone high hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, I know what you're doing. I know. The- I know. Oh. Well, I, I, oh. I was, I was, um, I, I was attacked, and she looks up to Doris, and Doris is like, hmm, like looks really stressed out about it. Um, by, by what? A man. I mean, I don't know if what, he wanted money or what, but what I'm did okay. he look like? Did he do she, this to you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. She like she pats you. Um, he was an elf, but he's kind of. Um, she looks to to Taurus, and Taurus says. <laughs> <laughs> He coughs up a cherry and it just bounces on the ground. <laughs> your pet, I it, honestly, Mr. Task, if, if your pet wasn't there, I mean, I, um, she looks again and Doris is just like, mm, like looking more stressed. Um, he helped, he, he saved my life, honestly. So we took him to the pet spa and she pets him. Oh, it's, by the way, is, Dor- his- is Doros Excalibur facing from Soul Eater right now? Is that what's happening? I, I don't know what that is, but he's just, he's like, he's, he's looked back now, but he just looks like just, yeah, stressed. Um, well, Pat, so- we'll go up to, we'll go up to Tarsk and like pat him on the side, just like ecstatic to at least see that he's okay and that Willow's okay. We, we took him to the pet spa. Um, Mr. Task, I, I appreciate what your guardian Drake did to me, but I, I need to scold you. And she oh, waggles a finger at you. Yes. Oh, Task folds his arms and cocks an eyebrow and looks at her. Oh, you now. Uh, d- you d- need d- to take better care of your friend. We took him to the pet spa and they found mites and lice and other things, and his nails were far too long. He was going to start to have joint problems. Ooh, that is... Should we take Task there? <laughs> There's an arrow pointed at Borky's head. Uh, Doros even gives you a look, Borky, like, how dare you? <laughs> yeah! Bor- Bor- Borky slowly like, just puts his finger on the arrow and pushes it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but I understand. Uh, but we got it done for you, so you probably won't need to do it for another couple of months. How much um, do you want for it? Oh, no, no. Here, this. And she hands you back the whistle. Tass takes it. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of him as well in my stead. Actually, it was Doros that did it, so uh, he deserves the thanks. He paid for everything, and it was also his idea. And he gives you a thumbs up. Tass turns to Doros, nods, gives a salute. He looks sad he didn't get a thumbs up. (sighs) Tass will roll his eyes and give a thumb up back. He nods like, yeah. (laughs) Um, Greckles is actually going to tap. Doros's hip, yeah. I think. <laughs> he doesn't have a cool. Yeah, he's got some nice pants going on. You're like, damn. How, just foof, like, how are, are they like mom's RCMP foofy pants? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh nice, 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 nice. But this, right. this, this is to get attention. He looks down to you. Doris. And raises a brow. Do you know where Sully is? He just pinches his lips and looks forward like I'm not saying anything. Mm. Oh mm. fuck. Mm. Doros, this is important. He turns away from you like a stubborn child not eating his broccoli. <laughs> Doris, where is Boric? Who's Doris? Doros. <laughs> You're so happy Doris is back now. Everything. Yeah, I, 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 listen, listen, man. We've we've been far too long with this. I'm, I'm just assuming you got your arms and legs wrapped around Doris right now as you're having these. Mine. <laughs> he Doros scratches his chin, and he just kind of shrugs. Mm. And you see, is like he kind of like like uh, kind of widened his, his his mouth a bit. Like I don't really know. Um, and, and Willow looks up. He goes, "Um, I think the guard's been under a lot of pressure lately." Oh, really? You don't say. Well, what happened when we left? Um. Well, um. I I stayed in in the, the jail. Um. Not not like real real jail. And she looks to you, Remy. <laughs> this this is it's. She's a shortish girl. She's got like black hair. She's wearing kind of a nice dress. Um. And she just sees you, and she's like, kind of you're kind of an authority figure. Um. I I, I not like I was in jail. Well, I was in jail before, but I'm I, I'm out now. Hooray. Um, I assure you, milady, you don't have to justify yourself to me. Oh, thank you. Um. Well, I I remember that. Um, at one point, Brooke walked out. He had a, a man with, with uh, brown hair and, and a staff. Really nice made staff. Looked like it was made out of oak wood, Ooh. which is very hard to work with. And, and some gemstones, but you can only get those from, from Tristella Court. Tass um, taps his I, fingers. I, oh, sorry. Um, and, and a woman with a veil. I, I think that was a, 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 um, a Hoclath cleric. And she looks up and Doros nods. Um, and uh, I think Brooke carried her out. Um, she was still breathing, it looked like. So maybe they were just taking her to go get healed. Um, She's probably with the Hoclath then. Probably. I, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I mean, at least you gave, us, you, gave us, you gave us a clue as to where they might have kept her. Uh, to be fair, Doros was also in the outside of the city at the time. She looks up at him. He just wants to get uh, looks stressed again. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go. We're going to go home. Um, when you guys, well, I know you're back now. I, I don't want to rush you or anything, but I, I um, given what's been happening, and she kind of looks down to her arm, um, I'd really like to move out of the lower general district uh, as soon as possible. But um, I, I understand you just got back. Um, I mean, I thought you were dead. Um, yeah, so whenever you... you know, it was kind of touch and go. Mm, um, so whenever you have the chance, um, I'd love to work for you. I think as we'd a, like... As a mage? Oh, yeah, of course. I could make you potions. I could try to make magical oh. items. Oh, which reminds me, Panic, how's your... Oh, and she goes and she grabs your hand and she lifts up your hand, Panic. Oh, Mr. Panic, what happened? What? What do you mean? She shows you the ring on your finger. It's it's broken. The gemstone's oh. cracked. What? I didn't. I I never noticed that. We oh. we, had, we had a hell of a journey. I. I and she like she once again she like she kind of like pats your hand. It honestly it was the first magical item I ever made. It, it wasn't very good. Um, it probably I, broke really easily. I I never even used it though. Well, didn't it worked once for you? Didn't it? Well, yes, but that was a different enchantment. I, you know what? I'll make you one that's better when I work for you. Hmm. Well, we'll, lo we'll look into it once we get back home. Doros looks furious. He's just like, <laughs> like, I want that a please, please <laughs> send us a, a resume uh, to Sweet Dragon. We will keep. Oh, you of in course. Life. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I have to do I have to apply by pigeon or can I do it in person? Honestly, if you could do both to really make it difficult. I'll cast off. <laughs> <laughs> this, person. Is getting, this is getting a little meta. LinkedIn. Yeah. I'll send a LinkedIn. Uh... Okay. Um, well, I'm glad to see you again. Um, um, take care of yourself, okay? And bundle up. It's starting to get cold. Um, oh, and she kind of looks to you, Remy, and she now notices your crest. Oh, you're from Valithia. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm I'm myself from from Elkmer. Ah, <laughs> well, it's good to see another familiar Alden. Yeah, there's many of us here. Some have gone back. 
I'm surprised. I would think they'd want to stay. Well, some people miss their homes. Yes, well, they can go flocking back to their new king. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, intrigue! I thought we were at the front. <laughs> um, what has the Silver King done to wrong you? Oh, the Silver King. Okay, there is a lore dump happening here, real fast. Where was that place that Remy just? Where was that place again? Sorry. Oh, Olivia. Uh, Olivia. Olivia. It's yep. How do you spell yeah. that out? He, he's he's bitching out the uh, Silver Dragon. Vil Vil Vilithia. Oh, Vilithia. I hope I spelled that correctly. I don't have Let's my notes see. on. I will double check. Uh. Did you put it in the chat? Where is it? Yeah, I put it in the, the Roll20 chat. Oh, okay. Silver uh, King. Close. I got it. It's because uh, I have my notes. Wait. Sorry. Wrong thing. V-A-L-I-T-H-E-A. V-A-L-I-T-H-E-A? E-A? Yes. Oh. E-A. Correct. Oh, okay. Sorry. E-A. Wow. E -A, You're good. Magical Kingdom. It's in the magic. <laughs> you, you, you don't like the Silver King's rule. <laughs> I don't care about his rule. I don't care for him personally. No. I hear he's uniting the countries, but in a way that the Elmer royal family didn't. Well, good for him. I hope he succeeds. I wish him nothing but the best. She's going to insight you. Okay. Oof. <clears throat> Are you deceiving? Uh, no, but based on what, you, what, what did you roll? I rolled a. I gotta grab her stats here real quick. Sorry. He's being courteous. <laughs> <laughs> and where are important characters? There we are. There you are, Willow. I need your modifier. I know you're gonna have one. I bought it didn't fight it through the roof. Fifteen. She rolled a fifteen. Uh, with a fifteen, you would be able to tell that he's trying to be as courteous as possible, but he's clearly very upset about something. Would you prefer it was the previous rulers? No. No, I wouldn't. And perhaps we should have more faith. As I said, I hope he does his job. Just a little um, slow, wouldn't you think? There's a lot to fix. Hmm. Well, maybe a he should have started sooner. Damn. She, you see Willow, she wants to go to say something. She kind of bites her tongue. Um, we're going to go. Uh, bye. And she grabs Doros by the hand and just leads him on. Yep. And he's just like, oh, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> like, <sighs> Care to explain what's going on there, Remy? Yes, I believe we need to find your friend. Do, do, should we all go or should we split the party? Here? I think you guys should probably be together. Okay. And also yeah, there are other, you guys have other go. people who might be looking for you. That's true. All right, so let's take care of Sully first. Then let's. Uh, oh wait, is the Hoketh clergy on the way to the Sweet Dragon? No. Okay, we then I guess we we'll... haven't seen a Hoketh temple. Not even the lower clergy district. It must be a middle. Yeah, that's Shit. what I was worried about. Shit, <clears throat> we have no way of getting in there then. You all Where mentioned that you had a tavern you? here, did you not? Yes, the Sweet Dragon. We may as well find it. We should really we'll learn this place. Idea. <laughs> well, well, let's go. Let's go. Okay. You guys make your way uh, through the familiar crafting district. You see across your tavern, uh, Big Guy and Ben, the blacksmith, currently setting shoes and a horse. I, nice. Man. Has well, he gotten any better? Yeah, he's got a real knack for it now. He's got to be nice to the horses, right? And you watch his, like, like, you know, mechanically, and you see a giant construct, Remy. Big guy is a giant, like, huge construct made out of wood and metal. You, you've seen them before. You've seen Mike Crank. And you watch as his arm just sticks out, goes over, and gently pat, 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 pats the horse. <laughs> Hi, big guy. Borky waves. He, he turns up the same hat he was using to pet his horse, and his, his like, joint on it at his wrist swivels his hand back and forth like a queen wave. Okay, before... <laughs> be, 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 that's good. Before we walk in here, okay, I would like to I'd like to talk out of character real fast here, guys. Now, Borky would like to make a flashy entrance. Is there going to be anyone stopping him on that? No. Nope. No, go ahead. Okay. Do you, baby. Okay. Boy, so we, uh, we're, we're walking up to the... So we're, we're seeing the sweet dragon now. We're all standing in front of it. Yeah. Yep. Val's leaning up against the wall. Hi, Val. <laughs> Just quite casual, casual hi. We're not dead, hey. by the way. That's... We know. What? <laughs> we got a pigeon. Oh, they got a pigeon. 
Oh, sick. That's really good to hear. Anyways, sorry for this. Borky does a running <laughs> slide oh, God. through the front door. You, like, crash into the door? No, he does, like, a slide into the... Val, open the door! Okay. Um, <laughs> you have to roll a reflex save for that one. Oh, <laughs> Please, Val! I'm Just smashes here. the door right in his face. <laughs> Val, grab her sheet, Val, too. open the door! She's Val, under... open the door! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, real. yeah, I still have her sheet. Good. Oh, I hope it didn't reset. It was an old sheet. Oh, it did not reset. Okay. Yay. Oh, God, it's not one of her saves. That's a six. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? And you crash into the door. I want to roll a strength check. Oh, yay. Oh. Ah. What's happening? You so watch his body. Strength roll. check or saving throw? Strength check. Somebody wants Ten. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> somebody. You, you literally watch as Borky is like, open the door, and this runs straight into the door. There's a solid crack. And then, Borky, you stagger back, and the door just Bor slowly opens. Borky walks through and falls down on the ground. <laughs> ah, oh, Meryl, who's sweeping the poor thing, sees an orc just fall into the tavern. Oh, hello. Ta-da! <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Jazz hands. And here it is that Helga thought she was retired forever. <laughs> good to see you too, Helga. Bor yep. It is good to see some. Uh, would Rep would Remy recognize this orc? Oh hell yeah! Uh, then his jaw is gonna be wide open when he walks in and sees Helga. Helga, oh. nice to see you. I see you got our message. I did get a message from Pigeon. Pigeon. Mm. Hardwood. <laughs> I had to pay 50 gold pieces for Pigeon, though. Ooh. You owe Helga. I, you. Plop the, I plop the money down immediately. Do not try to buy favor from me. I know what you've done. Fuck me! Two of us are on our shit list. That's not good, guys. If we get, all, if we get three, she'll just usurp us. <laughs> Hello, Why does everybody. Ah, oh, yes, man, who I'm okay with. Hello. <laughs> hey guys, you see Scarbles? She's like sitting, dealing out solitaire. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see that everyone here actually took our absence rather well. How's the place been while we've been gone? Uh, Helga Kinders, pretty vague. Uh, vague. Metal, speak the word that means empty. Um, vacant. Right? Ah, oh, you've been keeping up on your studies. That's yeah. very good. Of course. I oh 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 I gotta show them, I gotta show them. And she like she scampers behind Helga and Helga's like, mm, okay. <laughs> like just out of her way. <laughs> and she she shows you the assignment you helped her with with all the names. Mm -hmm. And she looks proudly at you because there's a big like gold stamp in the corner. She got a ninety. Well done. Is See, it I know you had it in you. It does does Alifast work on an A an A to D system or an A to F oh system? My God. It's a sixty five a failure. <laughs> oh my God. I've been practicing really hard, um, but uh, we're learning more complicated words now. Uh, double O's and C's and K's and and, and things like that. Um, but with what happened, um, well, she kind of looks yeah. to Helga. We were fine. If That's anything good. came into tavern, Helga would just punch it to death. Hmm. Well, that's good. We were actually very concerned about the safety of everyone else here. Well, oh, wait. there is one more thing for you. And she turns around and she just pulls a giant stack of letters and parcels and just boom lands them on the table. There has been mail in your absence. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, what? By the gods. Borky doesn't there... kept... Borky doesn't come up anything for me. Uh, yes, there is one for you, unfortunately. What? There is. Let me count how many letters you guys got. One, two, three. Oh, boy. Four. I... Four individual letters. And then there is a strung up parcel with a large box, a small package, an envelope, and then another envelope on top. Holy that shit. Is, uh, let me see. This costs money, by the way. We are not postal service. Because I thought you were dead, I, I paid for this. So, you know, you're welcome. How much? Well, let's see. For that, uh, two of them. One, one was dropped off in person. The other one was dropped off by little tiny robin bird 
no, little tiny adorable want to squish cheeks like cheese um <laughs> She dropped off parse, parcel and, and other things. Um, letters came by giant fat pigeon. The fat pigeon. It's the fat and uh, pigeon. one came by falcon. And other uh, dropped off by men. Black hair. Uh, little girl. The woman. Okay. All right. How much? Uh, total was... I got to actually count up your total here. This is 10, a crazy 20... amount of mail. Uh, actually, not terrible. Uh, I was about to say, if I, if I end up paying for all this, this is going to fuck me. Uh, it'd, be a, it'd be 150 gold. Oh. Is she going to take my money? If you put it down, maybe. Yeah, I do. You are slightly forgiven. <laughs> <She just takes. laughs> all right, so how are we going to go through this? And also, do I... You Remy's can see the name, names, on the, names on the parcels. Okay, but do I notice Remy, uh, Remy's face? Oh, yeah. And uh, Helga notices, too. Why does man open mouth? Is he broken? I don't know. That's a good question. Why is your mouth hung open? Uh, I, I apologize. Your name is Helga. Yes. <laughs> you were the one that killed the fire giant. I did not like him very much. <laughs> yeah. Borky just goes, uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, here we go with the ego. <laughs> uh, just, uh-oh. Uh, I'm just glad you got out alive and that you're safe. Yeah. It was a bit of work, but uh, now Helga has new tavern. I ran tavern in Tindelheim. It was a nice place. Shame to see it go. Glad you got most people out. Honorable for you, bird. In this room now, you have most respect out of men. I thank you for your kind words. I like him. She turns and looks at the rest of you. This is what you should be like. Borky, Borky just goes, come on, fuck. come on, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, no, even, even Tasha's just gonna be like, motherfuck, I wish we could say what we did. When Taras comes in, Helga's like, okay, like, little dragon more, you finally trimmed nails. <laughs> Thank I'm, I'm looking through parcels, I'm ignoring this. Yeah, let, let's let's go through mail, I guess. Yeah. She goes yeah. over, she pets Taras, like, finally. Thank the gods. Nom, 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 I, I'm nom, going nom. to, I'm going to a squirrel right at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's licking the, the, the frosting off of his face because it appears that either Doris or Willow fed him a lot of cakes. Oh my um, god. You have... Uh, let's, do the, let's do this one by one. Okay. All righty. Uh, this is the first letter, and I will, I will show it to you. Uh, this is the one Helga said was dropped off, personally. Uh, Where will it appear? I will show it right now. Uh, real quick, while you guys oh. are looking, while you guys are looking at the, uh, the letters, you'll see Remy kind of take off his helmet and start to move outside. While they kind of go through their mail. Um, whoever wants to read this out loud can read this out loud. Oh my god! Letter from Peyton Black. Um, I guess. One of y'all should do it, unless you want me to do it. <laughs> Dear the unexpected heroes, seems you've really made a place for yourself. Caroline, Colette, and I came to the city after a weird after the weird eclipse to pick up some supplies and drop off our furs, meat, and linens. Druids came and cut this off from the hunt for this year. But the forest is yield. Uh, the forest is yielding a health and healthy, so it's a good time to stop. Autumn season's on the wind. The city folk will need their coats. Just thought I'd swing by. Seems the building is faring, uh, faring you quite well. Could use a little work, but it's certainly seen worse. Going to head up and see Abacus. She's probably going to make some excuse not to see me. She's like that. I'm sure you. I'm sure you're learned. Uh, Caroline baked a pie, blackberry, tastes great with a frosting mm. glass, a frothing glass of cream or milk on the side, mm. and Colette drew you a picture with some colored wax sticks, left them on your, with your bartender. That's adorable. I know! <laughs> I'm so fat! <laughs> <laughs> Colette is doing very well, uh, happy and healthy as can be. Asked about you a lot, the, uh, gift you left for her, the feather and flower. She's been keeping it at her bedside. She asks a lot about the monster that took her away, too. In a way, I sort of wish she wouldn't. She talks about the thing like it was a, it was kindly or something. Might pop by a temple of Avon or Ginter to have them check her over just in case. But, you know, kids can be stronger than us adults sometimes. She's a, She's been a good kid. We might, uh, We might have a family making nest in our village with children of their own. I think it'll be good for her. Have some friends to play with. Anyway, glad to see you're doing well. If you ever get the itch for more pie, give old Wolfsten a visit. And maybe wait until the snow makes its pass. Take care, and thank you once again, Peyton Black. Uh, it was really nice of him. 
I was, told you they'd remember. Guys, pretty. I was going <laughs> to say here, is the big green one me? Yes, Sporky, the big I, green I, one's I, you. I look very lewd in this photo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, we all look very lewd, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right, want to cancel that out? Uh, yeah, you just close it. You can just close it out. For those, um, for those, for those who can't see on the po on the podcast version, there it's, 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 a, it's a it's a stick very cute. It's a it's thing. it's a stick figure person with uh. Yep. Um, <laughs> as you guys dig through the parcels, you see a letter from Ozzy, a letter from Lily, and the parcels are from Solly. Ooh, Whoa. I'm gonna... Whoa. What? I am going to give you guys in the letter from Sully. There, there's a bunch of letters, um, and there's one that's on top, and even it has a note scribbled really fast. Read first, please. Okay. Is that going to be in found documents? or? I, I will put it, I will make it available for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, it should be in found documents now. It's loading. It's loading. Uh, when, you, when you see the writing, <clears throat> it's, it looks rusty. Um, right. not well in practice, but it's readable. It's been a while since I've written anything on parchment. Oh, too rusty at this. Greckles, Taz, Borky, and Panic. It's hard to find the words to write here. Everything that has happened it feels like a dream or some sort of horrible nightmare. I regret what I have done. I regret listening to, the, to that thing uh, that pried into my mind. I regret not saying what I should have said. I regret accepting from the wrong place and the wrong thing i regret slow, 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 yeah. slow down a bit you're missing words yeah you're, you're, you're robot and you're also, yeah, yeah. You are, oh, can you reload sorry. in actually can you reload in yeah yeah one sec okay how about now there you sound better you're, you're good, good. Yeah. Take, take your time yeah okay. yeah take your take your time with okay. this take your time with this one there's a man here the azimar i've seen before his name is brork Woo he, sa he says you brought him uh brought him he says you brought me to him in chains and rope. Uh, it was not okay. And Brork, he's mad at you for it, but I forgive you. What I did was wrong, and I forgive you for doing what you felt you needed to do. What happened in Periton? What happened? Where I came from? It chases me, but I'm done. I just can't have what I want, and I need to accept that. I know you saw everything. I tried to hide it from you. I felt ashamed. I want to go to the Underdark. I want to be free, but this is just not the way it works. I can leave the United Clergy, <clears throat> and I can abandon my temples, but I have responsibilities that need attention. I need to further better myself, and in turn, and with hope, better. Uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> my screen's flashing. Oh. I need to better. I need to better myself, and in turn, and with hope, better Orin, and perhaps better the world. For now, it seems, I don't get much of a choice in the matter. Paladin Brewer called a council in the big temple. There were so many important people, I was so scared. Uh, oh, this is a long letter. But not as scared as I have been. I told them everything about the pain inflicted upon the drow, kobolds, and others who were su suffering because of the United Clergy of Orin. I told them about my brands, about Ragus Cade, about my old teacher's lessons, about my training... I told them everything except. I told them everything except what happened to the flumps. That I leave entrusted for you and only you until I get better. Until, <clears throat> until I know it's time to see them again. I'm under the council's protection for now. Palinborg said that they're looking into matters. I, I don't know what that means. And he told me not to worry about it. It's hard not to worry about it. Uh, let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. <laughs> I don't think I'll be taken back to Paddington, but I'm not sure what's going to come next. Palinborg took the armor. They're sending it back to uh, Paddington. It doesn't belong to me. I don't really want to look at it anymore. I'm living in the High Avon Temple. Do we know where that is? Avon Temple. Or, that, would me, be Avon. Up, that, that would be up where the highest district would be. Oh, good. I have a room here. It's nice. I can see the Sweet Dragon from here. I can walk down the high clergy district as I please, but I can't go much further than that. Most of the time I stay in my room and read until Paladin Brook or one of the other council members visits me. They need me to stay here. People come and talk to me a lot. They have questions. All I can really do is ask them if they know what's happened to you. No one's seen you since, well, 
since the sun came back. So if you're reading this letter, I hope you're safe and not hurt in any way. I hope to see you again. I hope I'm, I hope I'm more of me when we get to see each other again. Until then, I'll be okay. I might try to send another letter if Palinbrook lets me. He seems a bit, well, sour about me sending all of you this letter. He only saw, he only saw you dump me in front of him. He doesn't understand. He'll understand soon, I hope. The other Azamar is scary, but not unkind. It's so strange to be around other Azamar again. I've only met one in the clergy, but they weren't... They didn't... It was different. There's a woman, High Priestess Alea. She's very strange, but very kind. We spent time together in the mornings when Brorik's gone. There's also another Azamar named... <sighs> Help me. <laughs> ha Hammernar. Hammernar. He's very odd for an, for an Azamar of the Dwarven God. But he's nice, too. He helped me get the gifts in the fancy envelope. I'm not very good at gifts. It was more Hamnar's idea anyway, but I hope you like it. Please, take care of yourselves and don't worry about me. I'm fine. You've got you to worry about. With love, Sully. P.S. The big parcel I sent is for Task, the medium one for Greckles, and the fancy en envelope is for everyone. All right, I guess I'll open mine. Hey. I'll open mine. Uh, I will. So is she soon. okay? Uh, <laughs> that's yet to be it's a... seen, big guy. But I think so. So, like, what happened to her, though? The Borky wasn't paying attention. The joke. Well, the joke. The joke Borky... I, you know, it's all the joke. It doesn't count now. <laughs> uh, task the letter. You you pull the parcel. Uh, there's a letter like in it. Uh, there's there's parchment, something wrapped in parchment. And there's a letter resting on top. Um, all right, let's you, see that letter. It, it's available for you now. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, I will make yours available as well, Greckles. Yay! Letter parcel for Task. Task, it seems that just being around me causes you to try oh, to stop, remedy stop, the... Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, you're, you're cutting out there. You're cutting out. Fuck's sake. It's okay. No, it, just ha it happens. It's Discord. Hello? Man. Yeah, hello. Discord hiccups. Hello. All right. Uh-huh. Task, it seems that just being around me causes you to lose your helmet, <laughs> among other things. I tried to rem I tried to remedy the loss of your first one with my own. Paladin Borg told me that Viantis took it back with the uh to Patreon uh Patreon or Paradin. Yeah. Paradin with him. I handed over the rest of the armor and returned uh, to be returned to Paradin, and Paladin Borg offered to buy me a new set of whatever armor I wish, but instead I had this made for you. But neat oh. Uh it, I'm going to say this out loud. It says, beneath this sentence is another scribbled out in haste, smudged with ink as if to be covered, but it's still legible. Ta I'm not going to say this to them, but I'm going to say this out loud so everyone else can read it. So it can hear it. Okay. So th for this part is not said out loud. I'm so sorry about your family task. I wish I could make it heal. I wish I could help it be better, but I don't know how. I'm sorry. Now we continue on with saying this out loud. I hope the helmet fits. I had to guess the measurements. Please take good care of it. What does the helmet look like as you take it out of the wrapping? It looks like the piece of a visor. Something that slides over the head and fits comfortably on the snout. Something that wraps around the head. Almost sort of like a circlet, but it also covers most of the top. It covers the forehead going to the side of the temples. Neat. There is oh one thing about it that's interesting, and it's slight. It's a slight, almost logo in a way, hidden underneath one of the visors, and you see it shimmering. You, you can understand Re Draconic, correct? Yes, I can. It reads this, and I will type it in. Uh, I, I will say you notice it, um, and I will privately message what it says to you. Very well. Very well. We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah, we're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's having a really uh, So Soren. So, um, what? So, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pop that into Draconic Translator. Oh, good luck! It's is not. There, is there an app for that? <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it's. It's just. It's just it, a made up word. It, it doesn't translate. No, it looks like a name or something. Hmm. So Sarin. Should I roll an insight check to see, or intelligence check to see if that rings a bell? Uh, with triple disadvantage. Oh, Actually, no, just just disadvantage. Just a disadvantage. Triple disadvantage. What is like, that? No, okay, it's quadruple. I, I guess I really shouldn't be knowing this then. <laughs> I'll Fuck say, me. I'll say, 
<laughs> I'll I'll say just just with disadvantage. Oh, All right. Yeah, no idea. Okay. Uh, Greckles, you peel open yours on top of the parcel as a letter as well. I've been reading it. I kind of don't want to share it. Okay. In you character. open up the parcel and yes. you see what you see. So you see Greckles read over the letter. He's very... There's a lot of mixed emotions. Uh, a lot of sadness. Um, a lot of frustration. But there is relief in his gesture. And he pulls out Sully's holy symbol of Orin. Ooh. Uh, panic. Uh, maybe you mm. can help me with this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, wait a minute. Yes, yes, I can. And I'm going to. Uh, I just had to make sure I had spell slots, but I forgot about the rest. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I cast. I ritual cast identify. You send some divine magic from it. It's just a holy symbol. It's a cleric, a tool for a cleric, basically. Um. That's, what do they call it in the book? I should have had this written down. Um, she gave him yellow? She gave him yellow. <laughs> she she gave did him. give me yellow. <laughs> oh my god, guys, guys, she went to Jared. Yeah, it's... Oh my god. <laughs> ben. Ben is a whole... Um, it's a holy yeah. symbol. It's what it's defined as, so... Uh, you do sense a slight de divine nature to it, uh, but it's, it's faint. It's like a focus for a druid or something. There is some divine magic coming from this, but... Uh... For all intents and purposes, this is just a holy symbol. Mm. I'll hang on to it then. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also a letter from Ozzy. That is all you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I, 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 that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take it and I, I cut it open and I it's, read it. It's, it's in your documents as well. Sorry for the reading hour, but it's been you guys have been away and this is the time where all the NPCs have kind of come into town, so... I'm I'm not reading this out loud in character, but I will read it out loud just for you guys. Okay. Dearest Panic, hello. How are you? It's Ozzy. I hope the last batch of potions made it to you safe. Well, I never found out since I never got the letter back, but that's fine. I know you're busy with your important Alavast ticket work. I was just going to send you another batch, but you might be getting a personal delivery. I uh, oh! I need to come back to uh, I need to come back to Alavast before winter hits ever bright. I have many potions to be made, and ingredients get scarce when the cold sets in. Uh, plus, there are some things that I can only get from the city, so I'll be stopping by for a visit. I was just going to sneak into the lower Arcana district and rush on home, but I figured maybe that perhaps I could check in on you, and we could do something together that's fun, like tea, or go see a play, or go on a tour, or get food, or go on a oh, walk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, something like that. Anyway, I should be in town before the start of the Harvest Festival. I'll be bringing along Vincent with me. You remember? My hedgehog familiar. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay. I guess I'll see you soon, Panic. I'm very much looking forward to it. Ozzy and Robso. P.S. Me bringing Vincent is no invitation for your orc friend to go stealing him again. <laughs> God, this is, this is a freaking Telltale game. We'll yes, it is. Oh, they fuck. Were... Monty. Ozzy. Ozzy will remember this. Mm -hmm. Ozzy will not let go of this. <laughs> uh, there is also a beautifully intricate, uh, gnomish looking letter addressed to Borky. All right. Oh. Ooh, is it tiny? Ooh. Is it super tiny? It's adorably tiny, and there's a ferret seal on the on the front of it. Oh, oh, oh it. yes. Okay, hold on. I, I, I can't read. I, I, uh, I'm sorry. I, I will. I right. will transcribe for Borky. Thank okay. you very much. We hand it to him. His hands are clasped together with a big smile. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I just I look. She's just she's she's my Oruwa Nakama. She's you know. Mm hmm. Greg Borky turns, turns his head. Borky. What? Borky. <laughs> what? You and me are gonna have a discussion. I'm gonna have to teach you some things when we get out of here. Uh, love. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Dear Borky, <gasps> it feels like it's been so long since I last saw you, oh. but I know that wherever you are, you are doing your best. I am. Um, I hope you've made lots of friends and seen lots of lovely places. I, I want to hear all about them when we meet again. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. 
things have been mostly quiet for me. The forest is so beautiful this time of year. Oh. There are so many reds and yellows and oranges. Mm. Of course, green is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely the best. But I like all colors, really. Yeah, right. Some of the bicep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, some of the animals are getting ready to settle down and sleep the cold away. Mm. I've always wondered what it's like to be able to snooze until the sun comes out again. I've been making them little beds out of crackly leaves and blankets I've been knitting. They're so comfy and cozy. I just had to try them out myself once in a while. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> so goddamn cute. <laughs> the nice Aussie man that was playing with the trees has been helping me learn to make, to make potions. I'm getting really good at it, and so I hope I can show you sometime soon. We've mostly been using them to help the animals when they, when they get sick or need their teeth cleaned or stuff like that. Mm. Ozzy is really talented and very nice. It's good to have a friend to talk to. Thimble is wonderful to talk to as well, but he does sleep ever so much. Mm. Speaking of teeth, I've included presents for you in Task. <gasps> I really hope you like them, but if you don't, that's okay. I think giving gifts to friends is one of the best things in the world, and I will always and forever consider you guys my wonderful friends. With lots yeah. of love and hugs, Lily. Oh my god, I am so and... happy right now. And uh, Helga snaps her and goes, oh, right, there was another thing with, with Bird. And she pulls out a beautiful linen satchel with vines and all kinds of lovely Ooh. embellishments. Borky goes and... up with his, like, fingers. Ooh, what does this button do? I, 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 I softly smack the hand. Yeah. Borky, don't touch. What is for me? Do you open it? Yes. Of course I do. Okay. <laughs> yes! Yes! Um... <laughs> Uh, you get a sturdy black leather bracelet adorned with ethnically sourced wolf teeth. Ooh. And task for you, you get two arrowheads made out of bone. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Sorry. Well, I thought she said I thought she said for bird for a second. Sorry. No, no worries. <laughs> um, I was wondering why why it's for me though. Sorry. Was, what was it what was it exactly? Can it, I... it was a bracelet? It's a bracelet made out of wolf's teeth, yeah. Wolf Can teeth I teeth. roll survival to see if I can tell what kind of bone it's made of? Yeah, go ahead. A 15. Boar. Ooh, Ooh very nice. These it, are display it, arrows. It might not be like bone. It may be like the tusks potentially as well. Like bones of the tusks. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. These are not getting used. These are these are like trophy or display arrows. So you're saying these are tusk arrows? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. You, 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 see, you see him like peek his head over the window. Eyes back! <laughs> <laughs> like a Muppet oh. or a Pez dispenser. Ah! And then just sink back down. Oh, speaking of task, I, I think I should give you these. Uh, I can tell you firsthand they're pretty effective. He just drops the, the, the ten teeth from the frog in your hand. Oh, very well. Thank you. I'll take these. Borky puts on the wolf teeth bracelet. His friendship bracelet. But if it's nice. Oh, it is a friendship bracelet. <gasps> yeah. Uh, real, uh, uh, the la there's one more thing, a small, tiny, almost looks like a telegram size letter, uh, and it's addressed to you, Task. Oh, all right. Well, let's take a gander. Uh, I will post it to you. It should be available for you now. Awesome. Let's see. Uh, Wolfgang's report. Oh, yes. All right. Let's see. I'm not saying this to them. I'm saying this so everyone else can read it in the chat. We're task. right here. We track... oh. <laughs> this is for the chat. This I'm is not for I'm you guys. I'm, te I'm, te I'm teasing you. <laughs> task, we tracked down your quarry in a remote jungle. He surrounded himself with green scale kobolds. The dragon has something on its neck. Getting, uh, Going to get closer. Report to follow Wolfgang. The, everyone else will just watch Task like leer at this piece of paper. And just freeze in place for a good long second. Fold the piece of paper and tuck it away. So. Sure, uh, Jack. Hey, Remy, how you doing? <laughs> Remy's in the doorway of the tavern at the moment. You see him looking out, like his back is to you guys. He hasn't paid attention or said a word since you started looking at letters. Oh, and geez, his, and his helmet's off. Borky, Sorry. Tap, Borky taps uh, Remy on the shoulder. I wish up, man. Uh, Sorry about that. We, oh. we had so much stuff to read, my friend. Give me this bracelet. It's great. A task is uh, do his thing. 
Uh, I'm happy for all of you. I hope you found what you were looking for. Information or just confirmation your friends are still alive. Uh, yeah. Is that true, Grackles? What? <laughs> <laughs> Grackles aged eight hundred years. Steve Austin, him, were you? What? Uh, uh, what's that, Gorky? Oh no, he's aged forty years. <laughs> oh no. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with you. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not. You're Did not. You, would you wander off? Wait. Okay. We're, how far? Oh, that. How far away is the door from where we're standing? Right. Not, not okay. very it's far. Room. It's just the uh, room. We it's the tavern. <laughs> like if you, if you if you walk like like almost like twelve steps, you'd be up at the counter where Helga is. Yeah. Okay. The bar. The first thing you'd see would be Helga. Hooray. You seem, oh, you seem fun. despondent, word of the day. <laughs> I got a lot of things on my mind. I'm sorry. Hmm. Rami, you also seem despondent, word of the day. That would be a good way of putting it, yes. What's up? I owe your friend an apology the next time I see her. Which one? I didn't mean to become uh, the, the one from Elkmar. Solly. Not Sally Willow. I mean, oh my God! I'm falling Remy, asleep. Remy, Remy never got her name, so no. Oh, oh, that's Willow. It's Willow. We met her our first day in Alavast. Oh, we saved her. I was a turtle. Good times. <laughs> you were a turtle. Nice. Apicus polymorph. Yeah, it was ah, just, I was considering. Nice. Oh yes, you and you and the commander were uh, transformation friends, mm, buddies. Yeah, we are. We, we've been yes. we've been through the thick of it. We have. <laughs> By the by, should we not report these to her? Task holds up his contract. There's nothing on the contract. Yeah, that was that, that was that was that was pro bono, baby. Mm. You didn't get paid. No money for us. We're broke as shit. At least Ow. you don't know. You don't see the payment. Maybe. But hey. Do I have to do a perception check on my Roll a, percep roll a perception check. All right. 20. Go into party inventory and go into renovation opportunities and scroll down to the bottom. Oh, geez. That's a lot. Uh, party inventory. Party inventory. Opportunities. Renovation opportunities. Scroll down. Holy Whoa. shit. <laughs> what, what, what do we got? Tell, tell I'm them. not saying a word. Somebody else has to say it. 2,000 Alvestian credits. Is that a lot? That's a fine... As a final gift from Lies. The last of me. Holy shit. Damn. Oh wow. My, what, what? So you saying that... Oh, my. We can't say Lies' name. Show us. I can't really show you guys. I don't know where that is. Sorry, I don't I don't know where that is, guys. It's 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 under the player inventory. Yeah, so if you, if you click on the thing that looks like a newspaper and then scroll party inventory, you'll see it. So we have 51. Party inventory or player inventory? Party. Party, party yeah. inventory. It's underneath past red documents. Renovation opportunities, and you got to scroll all the way down. That's what I didn't do. Yep. Uh, locations? Uh, it should be above locations. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really stop finding it here. Sorry. So, okay. <laughs> scary here, thing, I sunburn, Oz. Thank there you. Go. There uh, you go. Oh, wow. Total 3,100. Last of me, plus 2,000. What? So we have 51. We got 51 now. Jesus, we can... We can... Damn. We we'll talk about it. that after the session here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's a lot of money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> jerks, jerks. I'm Sorry. A high roller, roller. <laughs> oh, oh you're ungrateful. Grateful. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. No, you know what it should have said underneath it? You should have learned something, something. <laughs> you, it should have said, "You dicks, you, you killed did. me." <laughs> Fucking look, oh, where you're you're... look where you're right. walking, you dumb shits. So in total tally, we have fifty-one. So we have we, we have fifty-one hundred uh, unexpectables ACs. dollar reduce. Yep, the Valvastian credits. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty right. cool. Uh, sorry, Remy. Gonna... Remy, you were you were being forlorn. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, he, he's gonna pat Borky on the shoulder. Okay. I appreciate the concern, friend. Thank you. Oh, uh, you mentioned like uh, something about a, a silver dragon, no, and, like, yes. and how you don't like him. I don't want to get. I don't mean to get political, but <laughs> <laughs> what's the deal with that? Real fast, you can tell us real fast what's going on with that. We're a little bit concerned. We've been hanging out for a while. 
we, we, we think you're a friend, what the Greco's would call a Nakamir. So, like... Uh, well, wait, uh, I'm sorry, a what? I just, I don't, I don't know, it's bird talk. It's what not come uh. oh, Okay, sure. Don't worry, I don't speak it either. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you should. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> but what you say that in game? <laughs> yes. Uh, you will see him turn around and in what sounds very broken, Watashi wa tori manabu toshi <laughs> Porky points. See, <laughs> see, was that so hard? I tried to learn avian. I'm in the process. It's not as easy as you might think. No, trust me. I know it's not easy. Anyway, so what do you know of the Silver King, as he's called? Mm, I know he's a dragon, and Task is like all about those. That's about it. Yeah. You say the Silver King comes from a place known as the Pine Spire Mountain. Mm -hmm. Eldsmer is a country that bordered on Valithia's, well, its border. It's in a region called Alton, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Nope. Uh, all right. They, they do, probably them, but not me. I shouldn't be taking point on this, actually, the more I think about it. I come from a land known as Valithia. We were neighboring countries. Eldsmer, for whatever reason, decided it wanted to expand its territory. They used poison, assassination, political espionage, anything they could do to infiltrate our country. And soon enough, they were banging at our gates, trying to invade the city. My father, Pandian, was the captain of the Raven Knights, the order that protected our king. He ordered the city be evacuated. They would put up a front as if they were defending the city. We would sneak everyone out the back and escape deeper into the lands. Eldmer occupied the city, Nearly burned it to the ground until the Silver King decided to meet with their leadership. And then, for no reason, as he was on his way home, said meeting, decided to return and slaughter their... Real fast, you, 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 you cut in and out, Bosco, sorry. I need you to leave. Curses! I need you to leave and go back, like, one more paragraph with a thought. Sorry. Better? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. <clears throat> so, after they were done invading and nearly burned the city to the ground... The Silver King met with their leadership. And following that meeting, nearly halfway home, he decided to turn around and slaughter the leaders of Eltmer. I don't know how many he killed, or how many escaped, but he took control of both Eltmer and Valithia before he gave it back. My gripe is that it took him that long to do that. If he had such power, if he was so omnipotent, where was he when they first invaded? Where was he when it was clear that Eltmer was racist? That they had indentured servants, slaves. People were fleeing to Alavast long before they invaded Valithia. He's so benevolent. But he let hundreds, thousands of people die. That's my issue. Yes, I should be grateful. Yes, he did us a kind service. And yes, there's some stupid statue of him standing in Alavast right now. But forgive me if I'm not just a little bitter. That's rough, buddy. I think we all do a slow turn. Everyone just kind of nodding. Mm. Gre Greco's is kind of slow turning a little bit in shock. He's never heard Remy lose his cool. Yeah, like this no, this, 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 this is, this is, this is, this is, woo. Woo. I don't know if this is going to be really bad for Tass to say, but I want to say it out loud. Go for it. Tass kind of just like, still looking at his letter, kind of just peeks up. Sometimes it takes a crisis to make others act. And that's the unfortunate rule of some things. Sadly, you're exactly correct. That doesn't make it hurt any less. Mm -hmm. No, no, it doesn't. That's not an excuse for insulting your friend, however. I lost my cool. And she has earned an apology. She's around. He'll find her. I'm sure. And give it time. She'll be here. I'm having. I'm happening. I'm happening to think that we already found our mage. Yay. <laughs> Borky's just like Borky's just been like make just been like has hands up like whoa fucking pulled the pin on that grenade. <laughs> uh, Revy, really as neat. you. That's really neat though. That's also, A plus acting, Bosco. 
Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Rami, as you kind of sit there with your friends, your, your hands kind of retreat and you feel the letters. Helga, get a nail for our friend, please. What do you want, nail? A nail? Ale. Oh, oh you, ale. Oh, yes, I can do. Oh, well, let me look. Uh, apple cider. Uh, what do you like? Light? What kind of beer do you drink, Remy? Uh, I don't believe now is the time for drinking. I actually should probably get going myself. Oh. Don't go. <laughs> Gre Grecos wants to run up to him. Oh, so, uh, I always thought you stole this from me, but uh, maybe greatness is just shared among minds. Plucks a feather and offers it to him. Remy, without hesitation, will pluck one of his own feathers uh, and with one hand take Greckles and with the other hand extend his feather. And he will grab Remy's. And it's kind of... Uh, hmm? you, you will see him. Uh, you will, you've very clearly noticed that he has three feathers on his helmet. You will see him put it on as a fourth one. Awesome. Task will take that ale. Uh, out, of, out, <laughs> out, out of character real fast. I don't mean to metagame right now, but is, is uh, are we able to join Remy on his running around, or do you want us to stay at the Sweet Dragon? No. Okay. No, no it's a, he's the only one that can go to the... Uh, area oh, yeah we can't go there buddy. Oh, 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 okay okay i'm just i'm just i am just i am just uh, i'm just making sure here so you're really... greckles oh, sorry you, you... greckles Gre greckles tucks the the feather up into his plumage underneath his uh underneath his clothes uh remy's gonna tap greckles's chest here's the last thing i can give you as a piece of advice what's that always remember where you come from and you'll always find your way back home I've been getting told that a lot recently, so I'll take that to heart. Task? Aye? Find yourself another platoon. <laughs> you mean I don't- You mean I don't have enough on my hands as is? Points to everyone else. Was this is family, it's- <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm subtly saying Family, you guys got it to bar out of my maw. It's, there you go. It's pronounced Nakama. <laughs> well, I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing in character. I'm sorry. <laughs> Borky, it's yeah, pleasure. absolutely. Borky just go does the the wrist handshake. Uh, Remy will. Instantly identify what that is and do a wrist handshake. I see. Hi. You're really good with your weapon. Well, I try. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at a lot of things, but people and swords, I understand. That's good. You're the kind of guy I wouldn't mind beside me in front of a giant frog. Well, lucky for you, I was there in front of a oh giant frog. Oh my god, frog. you totally were. <laughs> yes. That was oddly specific for yeah. something that happened not yeah. even a ago. Oh, it's just, it's, oh, no, it's just been a, it's, it's been a trip. Borky backs off. Panic? Mm-hmm. Try not to seduce everything that moves. <laughs> I'll see if I can turn it off. I'm just saying, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, I've learned nothing. <laughs> uh, partic particularly this one, if you don't mind. And with a smirk, he's going to peck Reckles on the beak. <gasps> and like that, the chat has exploded. Panic's gonna, panic's gonna slam the table and say, nice. <laughs> oh, Tess, oh, fuck, here we go. The ale spits out your mouth, Tess. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see Greckles in shock momentarily, and then maybe a slight hint of a blush, <laughs> and then a recomposure. <laughs> Borky's just, Borky's just pointing and standing there looking, still. Panic, He's frozen panic, in time. Panic is, uh, is a gape with just this, this smile on his face, it's just like, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, we, we don't we don't we don't have lips, so that's the closest thing we can get. Run, wow. run, Remy! Remy, <laughs> fly, you fool! Uh, Re Remy is going to give a a bow and then start to walk off. 
Bork, Borky's standing there. I'm guessing there's just an awkward silence throughout the entire place, right? Tash Even swings Hel the rest of his tail. <laughs> Even Helga's like, what? Borky goes, what? Is, what? <laughs> is that some is you, that some cultural thing? Or you see Tass do the archer thing, hold his finger up, and just swig the rest of the ale. <laughs> you see, you see, Greco's bring a, a a talent up to where his his beak was was pecked, and he just looked. He he and he brings it down and looks at it, and he just puts his hand down, and he oh just my... goes right back to the counter. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable! What? All right. I'm just Fuck. I'm just so happy right now. You know, can we just take a? <laughs> I, 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 we could do one. Meryl, Meryl actually has a big smile on her face. She's like, that's cute. <laughs> um, Remy, you set out out of the tavern. Uh, you see the blacksmith and the construct, uh, like setting the horse out, handing over the horse to their owner. Um, and, uh, you see your, your quarry in front of you. You begin to make your way, I assume. Mm -hmm. Okay. You make your, your way swiftly. Uh, most people don't really pay you too much mind. Some of, some of the children in, in the city look up at you like, oh, Bob, look, a soldier, like, pointing at you. Most uh, people are kind of about doing their business. Remy will try to acknowledge as many people as he can very politely. Okay. There are a few members of the military that see you, see your armaments, and give you a nod. You also see some people who are distinctly from the Alton region, just the way that they look, and they, they give you a nod as well, recognizing the family crest. Uh, uh, he... he... He will be sure to salute any soldiers that he comes across. Okay. Um, eventually, you reach the wall into the middle district, and you have a ticket keeper there that looks looks at your 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 mission and goes, "From the front." Yes, sir. Go right in. And Thank you, you were able to walk through. Alrighty. You go through the middle Arcana district. You see um, old pedestals. It looks like there used to be something on top of them. You see one statue to Brooke Bronzefang. The rest of them are all gone. And instead, there are these beautifully cut hedges and a garden um, in place. You also see a few constructs walking around, like a lot of constructs walking around and talking to each other. It's kind of weird. Um, uh, is this different from the last time he was in Alavast? Yeah, very different. All righty. The statues are all gone. Uh, except for the one of Brooke, and then uh, there's just the constructs usually are just like they're kind of like menial workers usually. Oh, so wait, that that statue of the Silver King is gone. It's gone. <laughs> Remy's gonna smile. <laughs> um, eventually, you make your way up to the next gate to the upper district, mm -hmm. and it takes longer for the upper district. And the it, it's a gnome with like five different types of glasses where he's got like the the magnifying glass and he's looking closely at your like your your ticket. Yes, very well. Go ahead. He hands it off to you. You Thank make you. your way through the upper uh, Arcana district, which is insane. The buildings are large towers. You see statues that just float. There's crazy things everywhere. Um, you see animals that you've never seen before walking around. You see mages talking to each other, animals on their shoulders, speaking about words and, and, and topics you don't understand. Um, and then you reach your next, your final gate, and you see a man uh, standing there, a guard. He, he's, a, he's a gruff man, and he sees you approach, and he gives you a salute. Uh, Remy will salute back, and then present his ticket. Remus Carbo? Yeah, yes, sir. Calden Stenden, he extends a hand. Oh, pleasure. Stenden, really? Okay. Shakes his hand. Yep. Uh, oh, wow. Um, looks like you have two letters to deliver. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Mm, he mulls over the, your, your token. Uh, may I see the letters? Just, I won't open them. I just need to see them. He will present both of them. Okay. Um, I don't know where Captain Brooke is. He's been aloof lately. Uh, Lady Isla should be in the Hoketh Temple. Uh, yes, uh, Lady Isla was my point of contact. Oh, excellent then. Um, I will send you up there immediately. Let's go. He will and he follow follows on. you. And he signals and another guard takes his place in full plate armor. Oh, how's the weather at the front been? Uh, it's... Well, it's actually kind of the same every day, sadly. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's just refreshing to be back in the city. 
Uh, yes. Sadly, I won't be staying long, but it is good to be home. Mm. Well, as close to home as I can get. Yeah, I just got back from my trip as well. Had Who to... are you? Oh, I had to... <laughs> this is rather strange. Um, we... How do I explain this? We procured a half-ogre, <laughs> in a, a way. Half-ogre. Yeah, his name was Gorb. Oh, uh, shit. He, uh... He, long story short, he, childish as it may be, he appreciates our faith of Avon. I'm sure you're aware of Avon. Of course. He showed promise as a paladin, though the mind given needs a little work. Um, we wanted to send him off to one of our combat-based Avon clergies, but we found that his responsiveness to men, not so good. To women, very quite good, uh, given that his previous friend was a, a female paladin of our order. Uh, we sent him to an all-women's uh, clergy to basically work the land there and kind of, like, clean things up and do the heavy lifting, more or less. Hmm. He was quite content, but uh, he, he broke my arm. <laughs> oh, um, damn. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, just a misunderstanding, certainly. You know, ships, ships, tight spaces, mm, not so fun for most things. Um... But yes, no, no, no. I just got back and oh, <laughs> I, I've missed some things apparently. But um, no, Doros has been doing good work in, in my stead. So and that Doros being the captain of the lower districts. Yes, of course. Mm. I, it's a weird misunderstanding. Uh, uh, an unfortunate haircut is a misunderstanding. A broken arm is typically more. Well, two and a half ochre though. <laughs> you must understand. I, true. Uh, as you guys walk, you've been walking up this, this staircase. As you break the staircase, you see that giant crystal uh, hanging by the chains, the attic, slacked. And you see large, giant cathedrals, large temples of different design, of beautiful architecture, stained glass, marble stoneways. And there's a large, like a massive building that kind of sits in the middle of them all. There's a big ring of them, like absolutely huge. And you see people mulling about, mostly council members. And the largest building in the center, a marble building with, with beautiful glass, is the council building. You know that. That's where meetings are are held. That's where a lot of important business goes on. Has Remy ever been here, though, since it's like the highest of the high districts? This is your first time, and it's quite the spectacle. Okay, so he's a little... Uh... Nervous, though he's going to try to keep that to himself as best he can. Intimidated. <laughs> I am going to roll an insight for Stendon. Go for it. That's a natural 20 from Stendon. Oh, he, um, he could tell that Remy is very nervous having never been here. He gives you he gives you a shoulder, like a nudge with his elbow, and he goes, first time here in the highest district? Uh, d- uh yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> y- yes. Wait until you go inside the temples, and he kind of gives you a push. D- uh, are you trying to make it worse? <laughs> oh, come on, lighten up. People here can use it. Uh, and he leads you in front of the Hoketh temple, made out of beautiful black cut stone, large, almost purple and red, gothic style uh, stained glass. You see some graves to the side of it. You actually see it kind of surrounds the side. They're well kept, beautiful graves, flowers on each one. The steps are beautifully kept, swept clean. And as you reach the front door, uh, there are two armed Hoketh clerics and they they, they kind of step forward and they stopped and they turned to Stendon and you and they go, state your business. Uh, I bring news from the front. And then we went to the other, shouldn't that be meant for Brork? Uh, I was commanded to see Lady Isla if... You'll give me just a moment. He's going to present the two scrolls and his uh, ticket. The Hoketh cleric takes them. Oh, oh, it's a letter for Bell for Belton. Oh, okay, yeah, go on in, go on in, go on in. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. The lady's happy. She's going to receive two letters in the past few days. <sighs> Remy's going to walk in. Best of luck. Standing gives you a salute as you go in. Thank you. As you walk in, your footsteps... Clack, 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 echo across the floors. There's a haunting sense to this building. Mm -hmm. You know, generally, Hoketh is the god of death. Um, So there's there's a serene calm to the atmosphere of this place. There's also a discomfort in a way. And as you walk across, you see tombstones upon tombstones. 
in the building, mausoleums, plaques uh, in the walls. Are there any writing or anything on them that like any identifiers? There is. Workers? There's names of people, soldiers. Gotcha. Others. Definitely well kept, cared for. And you, you hear some voices up ahead in sort of the main chamber. Uh, does Remy recognize any of those voices? You hear a woman's voice, you hear a second woman's voice, and you hear a man's voice. All right. And they're, you... they're echoing across the roof. And as you look up at the roof, it, it just goes on forever. You actually lose sight of the peak of it. Tall ceilings. Oh my goodness. Uh, Remy will keep walking forward until he has a visual confirmation of anybody. <laughs> Yes, but then we'll contact them and we'll see what happens. As you turn the corner, you see a woman with radiant blue hair sitting cross-legged and across from her is an orc man mm -hmm. uh, with, with bronze teeth and bronze hair. And beside him is a woman with, with very almost golden-esque yellow hair and wearing simple clothing. And they, they appear to be talking. Um. Remy is going to take off his helmet instantly and put it under his arm and then wait to be addressed as he stands at attention. Lady Isla, who, have you met Lady, Lady Isla before? I can't remember. Uh, Remy has not. Okay. Lady Isla, like super slow, just slowly turns her head, like just stops what she's saying and slowly turns her head to look at you. Oh, I think I have a visitor. And Brooke turns immediately. It's just like, who permitted you in here? Uh, I, I bring news from the front. Uh, Commander Bolton, he sent me. Oh, okay. Um, come on in. Remy's going and, to step in. And and you see, like, he turns to the woman next to him, and you kind of hear her mutter something under your breath. Do you want to try and listen for that or no? Uh, I would love to. Is that a Percep perception? perception. Uh, come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. 21. 21. Uh, you hear her go, should I leave? And then you hear Brooke, no, 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 unless you want to. She goes, no, I'm okay. All right. <clears throat> and what news do you have of the front? Uh, Remy is going to present both scrolls and extend them out to Lady Isla. I was told to give these to you specifically. Oh. Brooke takes the scroll uh, with the, the order of the trebuchets. Mm. And he just quickly pops that open, pulls out the seal and reads it immediately. And just you see his eyes just go, 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 go. All right, we'll do that at once. I'll want your help with that as well, sir. Uh, name? Uh, uh, Remus Corbeau of House oh. Corbeau. Soldier Corbeau. I would appreciate your escort, given that your travels have brought you here, based on this report. Um, and Lady Isla is not taking the letter, and she looks up and she goes, could you read it for me? Uh, uh, of course, milady. Remy's read it out to... loud, if you would. It would be lovely to hear. Remy's going to send you the letter. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm sending hey, it to you. Hopefully. I'm going to open this. It's going to be requiescat in pace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It won't let me send it. Oh, no. Oh, no. You want to send me uh -oh. just the text? Uh, like in Discord? Copy paste, uh, into, copy paste into the Discord. Oh, it's going to lose phonetics. It's going to lose talent here. Oh, oh no. shoot. No. Oh, no. Can you, oh. Can you Is there any way I can export it? Share. Wait, how do I share it? Oh, shoot. Oh, my God, guys. This, so technical difficulties aren't just microphone related, everybody. They I'm really aren't. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is going to destroy the formatting. I should have done this on, on something else. Oh, it's okay, Can we take a quick break? Yeah, no, no. Take, no. take a one minute. Take a one to two minute, everybody. You got to do some bits I'm, and stuff, I'm, right? I'm, I'll, do, I'll do some bit shout outs real fast. There you go. I got to take a bio break. Be right back. Do uh, it. For, uh, we, got, we got some subs and we got some bit drops. We have from Rukalek, 1,000 bits, burb on burb action. Probate, 1,000 bits, Reckles is now canon now. That was unexpected. Zephyrius, 1,000 bits, yes! <laughs> I wonder what that's in reference to. Probate, 1,000 bit drop. Thank you so much, Probate. Okay, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna send this. You see if it works. Do not read it. Okay, a couple people are away real fast. So let's. Okay. Manly Torchic, uh, uh, thank you for the six month resub. Tell me if that works. Skull, Let me see. Uh, uh, Skullfire, thank you for the bits. Creven, uh, Pukwa, oh, Haseo Sora, thank you so much, guys, for all the subs and the bits. A lot of follows. Thank you so much for the support. Did it work, Bosco? I'm trying to click on it, and it's kind of <sighs> dumb. Where'd it go? That's not what I wanted. Okay, I'm back. Not what I wanted. Did you send it to? Ah, wait, there it is. Click. 
click. Ivan the uh, Crane, the terrible, 1,000 bits. Here's some bits. Also, see. guys, I, I hope see... you like the KO Crackles animation I made. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, can, can you like... read it? Yeah, I can. There's no phonetics that I see. Phonetics? Oh, is it? I, I didn't know if there was anything spelled out phonetically, but yeah. There's uh, some things bolded and, and italicized. Yes, I see the stuff bolded, and I see the stuff in different font. Okay, perfect. Don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. I'm not. Read it. I'm not. I'm not reading. Okay, is everybody back? Are we waiting on Zito? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm Zito. back. Okay. Connor, are you there? Where's... Connor's also gone. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, sorry. no, he's here. He's here. Uh, I love the screen for the distance. I'm here. This, this, the the second font is going to be hard to read. I know that's going to be a challenge for you. Oh God, Argent I'm... Leo the Thirteenth. Sorry, sorry, I'm fast. Okay, thank I'm you back. guys sorry. for giving me something to look right. forward to each week. Your characters, mostly Zito's Kobolds, have reignited my love of art and helping my depression. Thank you all, and especially Monty, for your amazing storytelling skills. All right, let's jump back into the storytelling. You, Remy, you, uh, I, Lady Isla just looks at you. She's, her face is just blank. There's no expression. Uh. And she looks at you and just kind of raises her brow, like, read it, please. And you pop open the letter, you pop the seal, and you, you, you pull out, you pull it out of the envelope and unfold this giant letter. Um, <clears throat> my dear sweet Smumplekins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> It is I, your darling stallion of a husband, writing to the love of my life and warmth of my heart. We witnessed the eclipse of a few days past. It reminded me of the way your eyes shine, like the sun's rays passing through the attic's gleaming facets, but ever more radiant. I hope you were able to see it, and safely. How was the festival? We have heard reports of raucous events, and I hope it was most enjoyable for you, my sweet. Did they have Bork escort you again? As you say uh, that, Bork kind of like, <clears throat> like, uh, yes, I did escort her. Like, I did my job. <laughs> I do hope he was well behaved. His face just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> did Jelena make her cheesecake again this year? I do know how you love your sweets, my sweetie muffin. Mm. Uh, yeah. Milady, should I continue? Yes. <laughs> no change in expression. Uh, uh -huh. <clears throat> Speaking of our esteemed paladin friend, do pass on my greetings and hearty hopes, and you may use other words, that he has found an outlet for his affections. <clears throat> Perhaps more than hopes. We've talked about it, but the young lad needs a certain... Dot 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 focus. Uh, perhaps Romancion? Or one of those elven bats you talked about last winter. The boy is stressed, and I worry for matters of propriety. <clears throat> Rourke's just kind of like, uh, you can see him sweating under his collar, even pulls. He's like, <laughs> Balfour Balano is a joking man. And he looks to the woman next to him, and she's taking a step away from him. Uh, just slowly. Uh, Captain Brock, I, I, I do apologize. I didn't... Um... Isla <laughs> looks up. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> yes, me, lady. Is Serial still single? I wonder if she'd be willing to entertain him. The council would complain, <laughs> but if they do, you're... Uh, this seems to be a bit crossed out, me, lady. Keep um, going. Uh, all right. Uh, but if they do, your ogre monster giant cuddle bear of a husband... Can give them another talking to. I don't know if I'm supposed to read that. Um, oh boy. Uh, what are they going to do? Say no to our wise advice? Born from our blissful matrimony? Don't tell Hamangar that I said that. Maybe we can send Brork and him together. Not together like a couple, of course. I mean, not as far as I know. This fucking exposure. He He's he's married. God damn it, Belton. Mm. Bork is just like really like looks so irked right now. Yeah. Remy is terrified as he continues with this letter. <laughs> Isla looks so content right now. Like she's just like le leaning on her her hand and just like looking up at you. Like keep going. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
Either way, I trust you had a good time, and it makes my heart ache that I had to be away. Things are quiet here on the front, which makes for a lovely change of pace. Time to think and recover and dream about my dearest star among stars that you are, my love. The giants seem to have had their fill of fighting for now. Perhaps the eclipse spooked them or has some significance to whatever gods they pray to. We remain weary and ready, but for now, I am and all of Alavast's finest are safe and resting. <clears throat> Oh, I, uh, he apparently changed his handwriting. Um, mm. He does that. Yes, I will do my best, milady. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> but I do dream of you ever so much. Oh, to touch your pearly mm, uh, tresses now. Oh, breathe in your stupendous scent. I miss the touch of your neck, the touch of your lips, the <clears throat> the touch of sweet, soft, silky hands. I recall the way we echoed back on the night of our honeymoon and so many other passionate nights since. And, uh, uh, Lady, lady, uh, I, I think that's enough. And she just waves her hand. No, keep going. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. ah. mm. Rock is just like, his, his face is in his hands. He's just like, oh my God. Uh, oh my god. And so many other passionate nights since, and crave hotly for the next to come. Perhaps we could arrange for our fine, fanciful, feathered friend? Is that insensitive? I don't want to add Brork's stress with that wonderful racial integration project of his. Either way, perhaps Re uh, Reminald R Raminus... Remus could fly you down with him. <clears throat> it's it is Remus. Um, Love uh, name. Uh, <laughs> thank you, milady. Uh, perhaps not. Alas, I am sure the council values your company far more than our amorous splendor. Oh well, we will see each other soon, and I assure you that my so sensuous, <laughs> uh, slivered. Sumptuous, sensational sweetheart of serendipitous salacity will be a night to prepare for. I sent him a dictionary as a gift. <laughs> uh, he's oh, clearly used it quite well, milady. Yes. This, this is... This is Greckles, I'm just gonna say this for Greckles right now. This is better than anything you could have possibly said to Boric. Do you have no idea how much I was there. <laughs> I am and remain even your burning coal of a husband, burning even hotter with passion for you. With, with each passing day, <clears throat> pardon me, me, lady. I have feather in the throat. Um. Yours now and forever, by the grace of the gods and in heart in your soul, Balfour Bolton. Uh, P.S. Tell Abacus she still owes me, and I don't care what the little enchantress says. P.P.S. I love you. P.P.P.S. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> like a lot. P.P.P.P.S. I would punch so many dragons to protect you. Even one made of bees, if I had to. Like, what? really hard. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, really had to, and we didn't have any fire magic doohickeys around. I would punch bee dragons for you, my love, because I love you. P -p 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 -s. Yes! <laughs> okay, bye. Exclamation point, some strange symbol of a, um, it looks like a weird V attached kids to kids call it putting hearts into their letters these days. Oh, I, I see. Um, and then he drew an actual heart with a B plus an A. Um, and I believe that's it. I was, I was half expecting there to be an eggplant emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Can we vote Balthor Bolton best boy of Alabama? Balthor Bolton for president. <laughs> Good job, good job, Bosco. Uh, I, uh, this is how we send off our characters, ladies and gentlemen. That is, wow. Um, 
Isla looks up and she's, expressions not shifted once during that entire thing. Like not even a shift. She looks at you, she goes, you could put it next to the other letter. Uh, y- yes, my lady. <laughs> Remy is going to put it down and then stand at attention and kind of look over at Brork and mouth to him, I'm sorry. Brork looks up and goes, I want to die. <laughs> um, and he looks to Isla and goes, <clears throat> Anyway, Lady Isla, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I that is, I think that's my my cue to go. Uh, Solly, have a nice time with Lady Isla. Wait, Don't uh, read any of her letters. You're Solly. Brock looks immediately concerned. Uh, there, there are, she has friends looking for her. Rising. Uh, I'm going to have him insight check you. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm choking a little bit. He comes next to you, Remy, and he puts his hand around your back. He goes, no, she doesn't, let's go. And gives uh, you a push. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Let's go. We have uh, trebuchets to collect, correct? Uh, yes, of course. Um, Remy is going to try to sleight of hand the feather that Greckles gave him in his hat and just throw it at, uh, <coughs> Solly. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah, please roll high! Oh, I will say I will give you advantage for this. Okay. Oh. 21! Yeah. Oh, yeah. One. I'm gonna roll uh, his perception. Oh, please. I gotta grab his stats real quick. Oh, where are Oh, you? well, goodbye, guys. Thanks for playing. No, I gotta, I gotta grab his stats. I haven't rolled yet. Relax. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, fine. That's yeah, fine. but he's a paladin. He's a oh, paladin. God. Come on, I'm a kanku. Don't I get plus plot oh. device to my roll? To the guillotines with him. Bring him to the guillotine. I thought his armor was made of plot. 15. He fails. <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah! Oh. Uh, you, 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 like, you're walking, you turn your head, you flick the feather, and Brock is like, anyway, the trepidation says, let's focus on what's more important, blah, blah, blah. He starts talking, and you see the girl with, with you now know as Sully. She, she kind of, like, takes two steps to follow you at, at once, and then she sees the feather, and she stops, and she sees you, and she looks up at you, and she gives you, like, a, like a nod, like, you know, they're, they're okay. And Remy's going to very quickly nod back before uh, saying a yes, sir, or something to acknowledge. Uh, you see her or... shoulders slack. You see her breathe. And then she steps over, and as you, the doors come closed behind you, you see her pick up the feather. And that is where we will end the session tonight. Yeah! Woo! Yay! Let's, uh, real fast, while we're here, I want to thank Bosco for joining us on this campaign. Aw, no, thank, thank you, you so guys. Much. That was, this has been super freaking fun. Like, you have no idea. I'm really happy. Um, do, am I allowed to throw people under the bus? Yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. I'd like to first of all uh, thank Nero Napier. Uh, the drawing that Colette sent was actually by his son. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. all right. Oh, oh. Why is so, he under the bus? No, no, that's someone else is going to be under the bus uh, if I'm allowed. Oh, yeah. I have to message some people and see if they're okay with getting accredited with some beautiful, beautiful work. Oh, of course. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, Nero Napier did that for me. It was very cute, um, and it was very, very excellent. So thank you so much, Nero Napier. If you're if you're watching a VOD, if you're watching live, um, thank you. I really appreciate that. He did that for me really quick, and I messaged him on a whim. I was just like, could you do this for me? So <laughs> That was good. Also, I, I, I have to say, you're out there watching. I had some people help me with that last letter. I, I barely wrote that thing. So you guys know who you are. Thank you for your help with that, because wouldn't have been as good with the the Balfour Balton's little writing assistant. That was thing. incredible. Like that was unbelievably good. That was that was really <laughs> You're good. killing me with the freaking uh, cursive, but yeah. When when they switched over to cursive, I lost it. I just started I, like, crying. I was like, like why oh. text why be so hard to read? <laughs> so. Yeah, thank thank you so much for those people who helped with with this session, um, as well as some people who actually read through those letters to make sure that they were good. I just want to throw out those credits out there. Uh, really quick, can we stop recording? Yes, yes absolutely. Okay. Recording. Oh, okay. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, dude. Bye, Austin. Uh... What episode is this? Uh, Twenty-five. 25. Okay. What the big two five, everybody? Yeah. David as a way gonna be a big file. Yep.
Mm, the delicious <laughs> uncompressed audio, guys. I know, right? Um, but yeah, so for are we we're still the chat can still hear us, right? So yeah, yeah, they can. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just want to thank all of you guys, uh, both in the cast and out there in the digital world. Uh, this has been a wonderful experience. I really appreciate you all inviting me into your little family and let me, you know, goof around and play around with all of y'all. But uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I had a lot of fun. So you guys, you guys are the best. It was we're a really glad to have you, dude. Yeah. You you ran off doing the absolute best thing you could have. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. I feel y'all. I remember when I told you, like, I, I did give Bosco some preemptive warning. Like, I'm like, you're going to end up at the high districts. And he goes, oh, that sounds cool. And I'm like, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. I, 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 we, let's agree to disagree on that because that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was, that was pretty damn fantastic. I got to do a quick, <clears throat> I got to quickly say here, you got to come to the next fan art special, by the way. Too. Oh, absolutely. I, if I, uh, I, 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 I can't help but need. feel there was like a moment in this episode. Maybe what moment? Know, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this, you're talking about. One, there was this one part where uh, I, 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 I'll just throw it out there. Yo, passions flare. Yeah, you little, little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of interesting. I wonder what that was all about. Oh man, I, who what? the fuck knows? Oh man, yeah, I, wonder, I know. Wonder, wonder, I, 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 that, that, that is. If a... only you could ask Remy. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. For Lord. That is... uh, and oh, I guess I can say this out loud. So, because <laughs> it's on the wiki, but yeah. So Remy is an Eldridge Knight. For anybody who's confused, he is both a caster and a fighter, which kind of fit his backstory because of how his parents were fighters and casters. So yeah, it works. I, I tried. Bosco <laughs> broke the chat. <laughs> I did break the chat. Yeah, it was uh, when you did it. Is the chat was just like it was like a it exploded full, a full page a second. It was rather interesting a, to watch a happen. Fucking atom bomb hit the chat. Oh yeah. <laughs> ne never, never, never since Borky called uh, Helga ugly has there been such a reaction. Yep. My oh, goodness, that was man. so damn. Sorry weird. for so many letters, but that was just what happened with everything. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. It's all good. A real fast. I want to sh give a quick shout out to a couple of bit drops we had there. Uh, Do it. From our, uh, from hold on, we gotta go back here a little bit. Uh, we have. I want to thank Ivan, the kind of terrible. Here's some bits. Also, guys, and I hope you like the KL Greco's animation. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I would, I would love that to be the uh, animation when I die again because I will die again. Urgently, y'all. Well, yeah, you don't have a tank anymore. Y'all, thirteenth. Uh, thank you much for the depression. Oh, sorry, so it repeats. Uh, Arg Arg Argently, all thirteen. Please, my sides, full caps. Probate 1,000 bits. Thank you, Arjun Lee, for the 1,000 bits. Probate, no greater love than punching bee dragons. 1,000 bits. Thank you so much, Probate. I'm seeing a lot of bits, too. Platinum Raven, thank you so much. 321 Agimo. Bosco, you are, you are great as Remy. These bits are for you. Oh, uh, uh, gosh darn it, guys. From a large pile of ducks. 1,000 bits. <laughs> love what you guys do. Love what what you do, guys. Wish I could do more. You bring a bit of joy to every week. Thank you so much. One thousand bits. Jack Jumbo, ten thousand bits. Here's my <sighs> offering to Don Panic, the Godfather. May he not. <laughs> may he not send a bee dragon after me. I don't think I could punch it. Oh! Oh my God! You guys, you guys, for, we'll do it after. You guys forgot the last envelope from from Solly. Oh, oh no! Oh, then. We, we, there was, can we can we start the episode next week with it? I was gonna say there's still in yeah, there. Yeah, I'll, I'll st we'll start the episode there. That actually would be perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 But Jack Jumbo, ten thousand bits. Thank you so much. I was ten thousand. Like, good grief. That is Damn. that is crazy. Probate five thousand bits. Now I really the, now the only thing I want to know is was Brock just being a dick due to being angry with the team, or is he planning something sinister for Sully? Probably not. But I feel a reckoning coming with him. Five thousand bits. We're find out. We're <laughs> okay. Have, we're gonna have to watch to find out, aren't we? Five thousand is not enough for Monty to, to, to destroy the story. It's five hundred nope. million thousand. <laughs> All right, here's the spoiler, guys. There you go. Uh, Demon Zero X. The session was incredible. One thousand bits. Huge thanks to the amazing performance there, Bosco. Please come back soon. Ah, uh, well, thank you guys. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of happy I got to dump a little backstory for Remy. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. Yeah. Oh, I, good. I have two pages of backstory for him, but I didn't want to go into all of it because it's just too much. But like Monty can tell you, she let me build Valithia from the ground up. She let me like do everything, come up with the lore, the history. It was awesome. I really appreciate her letting me add to her world. She's I, I, awesome. I wonder if we'll ever something like. I wonder if that's ever gonna come into factor at another date. 
Who knows? Do you ever end up in Alton? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> or who knows? Maybe maybe Remy will meet you guys in the Eastern Isles. Who knows? Ooh, that would be nice. No, we'll be we'll nice. That, there, there, he does want to learn avian. He did the say thing, that. The thing is, I think we can safely say that this isn't like you're gone forever. You will be back. Uh, <laughs> who says he's going back to the front? He could die tomorrow. Oh, no, Nadine. Don't oh, let him God, die on no. screen. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> you all come upon the corpse of a Kenku. No! <laughs> it's Greckles. Oh, thank God. It's not Remy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tim's oh, on his stuff. Wow. It's ironic because you're probably the only one that could really use them. I know. <laughs> Orky grabs the dagger. I have a knife, sadly. And then it slips out of his hands. I have a knife. <laughs> oh, this was a lot of fun, guys. From all of us here at the Unexpectables and all the fans, gig shout out to you, Bosco, for hanging out with us and being part of the team. Thank you, guys. No worries, man. Expect the unexpected. Damn yeah. right. Guys, and I think I'm going to round this off here. Guys, where can they find all your stuff? We'll start with you, Bosco. Where can they find your stuff, man? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA. So if you guys happen to draw something that happens to be something that happened in this session that happens to be something that you really wanted to see, uh, you can at me there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Where can they find you, Zeno? You can find me at CZ Backlash on the Twitters, and on Twitch, you can find me on just straight up Zito, Z I T O. Where can they find you, Z Senile Snake? They can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake, and on Twitch at Senile Snake with a three instead of an E at the end, because someone took the other one. Goomba! Where can they find you? You can literally find me anywhere uh, as Gaijin Goomba. Sometimes with an H, sometimes not, but most of the time with an H. Monty? Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Blue on Twitter and at uh, Monty Blue on Twitch as well. All right. And you can find me at, at Takahata101 and, you know, right here. All right, guys. That was a hell Fuck of a I'm session. Fuck, I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> that was a hell of a session. And now I got, and now, and now I got to leave the call so I can play the music so we don't interfere. Be right back. And, guys, thank you for coming to the Unexpectables.